and she on her way down. Yeah, always down to have a good time. What they gonna say now? Huh? When they see us running this down. Is it how you move? How you smile? How you captivate everything? How the body move? Pretty eyes, got it all. You killing the scene. I want you to be mine, girl. You got everything I need, and I want you. What you wanna do? Let me give you the moon, yeah. Shine brighter than the stars combined. For show, buckle up and up we go. Reaching for the sky now. Yeah, see the world in my rear view now. Is it how you move? How you smile? How you captivate everything? How the body move? Pretty eyes, got it all. You killing the scene. I want you to be mine, girl. You got everything I need, and I want you. What you wanna do? Let me give you the moon, yeah. Shine brighter than the stars combined. Let me give you the moon, yeah. You and I, we got the stars aligned. Give you the
some of us are catalysts. Because of that, you have to accept. Not being liked. Cherish the moment is high stakes. I used to spend time on my time pay. The way speaker thumping it vibrate. She jump in my bones, make it gyrate. Say before a crib, it's a five place. I turn off my phone for like five days. I show it, I know it's my time, lady. Jump started this from online, baby. Whatever we doing, it's live, ain't it? They envy, defended, they pride, ain't it? Don't say how they feeling in my face. I'm fluid, it's fire in my tank. Stones in my ring and my eyes say She told me she do it if I say Want a milk ticket, I can see food Everything I do, I see it through She in a black dress, I can see it through She get a body type with a little preview She like big brain, she got big dreams She doing big things, I'm like me too I can see me and you, I'm doing me boo I got reach too I pull out the whip, it's honest to get it Sun up the sun up, I'm running my funds off I'm having my phone, I'm a kid If Diablo look off messy and who go I'm booting, I'm cooling on Ted But back up, you're too close, I'm poor, we're hit I'm sitting them over the fence yeah. 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 Pure spirit yeah. No evils yeah. Good riddance yeah. They did it, I said it, I meant it Hunted on dash, running it fast Good riddance yeah. Yeah. Pure spirit yeah. No evils yeah. Good riddance They did it, I said it, and I meant it. Put it on dash, running it real fast. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the way to the world, I weigh in the odds. Been thinking about trading places where the stars been wanting to pull it straight off of the lot. I got my passport, I'm a long way from the block, headed to the top. I see it clear through my ocular trend, said that they just copy, they not. I say, oh, they tapping my phone, I'm not one with the talk. In it too deep, I ain't dropping the toss. I'm loaded, she quoted, I'm really your boss. She wanna leave cause I'm wet in them drawers. Big wave, rip tight, wrist bright, let me floss, risk high, meal time, flip buns to me, breaking bread at a time. Yeah. Then it pull out the whip, it's honest to get. It. Sun up the sun up, I'm running my funds up, I'm having my fun, I'm a kid. Of the Diablo look off Messi and who go on pulling, I'm pulling on 10. But back up, you're too close, I'm pool host, we're hitting, I'm sending them over the fence. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Pure spirit, yeah. no evils, yeah. good riddance, yeah. they dead, I said it, I meant it. It on dash, rev it fast. Good riddance. Yeah. Yeah. Pure spirit. Yeah. No evils. Yeah. Good riddance. Yeah. They did it. I said it. And I meant it. Hunt it on dash, rev it real fast. By entering someone's space, you are a reflection of how much of this life they get to occupy and own. Girl, I realize all I need is you I can never get enough Say she on way down Yeah Always down to have a good time What you gonna say now? Huh? When they see us running this down How you move, how you smile, how you captivate everything, how the body move, pretty eyes, got it all, you killing the scene. I want you to be mine, girl, you got everything I need, and I want you, what you wanna do? Let me give you the moon, yeah, shine brighter than the stars combined. Stars align. Night is younger, we got plans for a show. Buckle up and up we go. Reaching for the sky now. Yeah. See the world in my rear view now. Is it how you move? How you smile? How you captivate everything? How the body move? Pretty eyes, got it all, you killing the scene. I want you to be mine, girl, you got everything I need. And I want you, what you wanna do? Let me give you the moon, yeah. Shine brighter than the stars combined. Let me give you the moon, yeah. You and I, we got the stars aligned.
bitch forever. I've been in the field with whatever they throw at me. Brush it off, pick myself up, moving on to the better. Okay. Hey. Yeah. Ain't no errors, baby. It's a new era. I wake up early, feeling rich like I'm cash. I get to the paper, boy. Extra, extra. Work with me, you know that I got it. Come with me, let's take a trip to the islands. We up on the jet, we'll do more than just fly on it. Stand on that hill, you gon' die on it. Boom, boom. Baby, I'm not one of them, you should try on it. Miss me with all that, I'm on it in decks. Yeah. Rip this up, I send you back to your ex. But good luck with that, this is big as it gets. Hey, okay. let's see how you do under pressure. Yeah. Let's see how you do under pressure. Give them a name to remember. Hey, let's see how you do under pressure. Let's see how you do under pressure. A moment can live on forever. Yeah. Oh, shoot. They don't let me shoot a whole clip. Firepower in this coalition. We just turned the field into a demolition. It was desolate, but I had premonition. I was training for war every exhibition, every extra mission, every enemy listening. Get off my dick. I got bad intentions. Make it right every wrong. And I'm back with a vengeance. I show you the ropes. Peace in my town. I can show you the coast. Up in the shots if they wanted to smoke. If you know, then you know. Suit it up. My whole team do the same. Don't you forget who created the game. Ready for war. I was born with grenades. The trenches with soldiers are made. Let's see how you do under pressure. Yeah. Let's see how you do under pressure. Give them a name to remember. Okay, okay. Hey. Let's see how you do under pressure. Yeah. Let's see how you do under pressure. A moment can live on forever. Okay. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the NBA 2K League. I'm your boy, Harris Rubenstein. It is day three of our final week here at the 2024 Switch Open, just one day away from Championship Saturday, and we have a lot of fantastic matches coming up for you tonight. But first, what are we even playing for? How about $100,000? Yes, $30,000 going to our first place team, 19,000 going to second, 14,000 to third, and so on and so forth. So much to play for tonight. Teams trying to clinch playoff spots, trying to avoid the steal, and of course, trying to get the championship Saturday for the Switch Open. And I got to bring in my boys, the brain trust of the NBA 2K League broadcast team. It is Dirk. It is JT. Hello, gentlemen. Happy Friday to you. Dirk, we got one more day to go or two more days to go. If you include tonight. What are you hoping for as we get into the last couple days of the Switch Open? Probably my second favorite day, just because it tees everything up for what we're going to end up seeing. Obviously, going into tomorrow, the gameplay kicks up to another level. Of course, we have the best of the best teams currently sitting there playing. So while some games, you know, might be a little bit of a doozy two-point fest, you really start to see, you know, who are the best in this mode and who the playoff teams really are as the season winds down. JT, what about you, my friend? Nice to see you were in red yesterday. You went with the uh, the light teal today. You got to make sure you don't blend in with your background, though. How you doing, buddy? You know, I, I have a wide range of colors because, you know, that's just my wardrobe. But I'm doing great. I feel like it's 12 teams today, and I'm pretty sure we will dwindle it down to six. So I really want to see who's going to show me that once. You can't teach that once. You got to show me. Don't, don't, don't talk about it. Be about it. So I want to see today who's going to be about it. Well, let's go over what we saw yesterday. A lot of great action here in the NBA 2K League, including Rim Runners, the first community team to make it this far in a 3v3 tournament since Handles back in season five. If they win tonight, they will make it to Championship Saturday, the first community team ever to do so. But as alongside them, 76ers GC with a monster win over Jazz Gaming to secure their spot in the playoffs for now. And then we were treated to a Lakers Gaming Classic against Grizz Gaming. Another win for Lakers Gaming. Now 17-1 and one on the season. 
just not enough Derek Vandy couldn't get it done this Lakers gaming team they are just something else my man it, it, it's just crazy how comfortable they are with like looking down the barrel of defeat it, it, it is it is mind-boggling what we have been seeing from LA like they'll go down a game they sometimes go down two vibes are always good comms are always still good and it's just like they don't have a true weakness like it, it never really shows from the comms to the gameplay everything is just all around like perfect coming out from lakers gaming so i always say once you get deeper into tournaments like this you can't really rely on that but they prove me wrong in the slam probably gonna prove me wrong here in the switch as well well let's get into the standings because man we got a lot to get through we got a lot of clinches a lot of scenarios so let's get right into it so those top five teams you see that are in yellow they are clinched for the NBA 2K League playoffs. Nets GC, not quite. They're like 99.99999% chance. So it's most li more likely than not they get it tonight, but we can't put them in quite yet. Celtics Grizz can clinch tonight if they win. T Wolves Sixers are right on the cusp, but you cannot forget about Jazz Gaming and JT. So much on the line tonight. This could make or break a lot of seasons. It definitely make or break a lot of seasons as we see the T Wolves, the Jazz, 76ers. Like, it's just a lot of these teams are just like right there. They're right there, but they can't get comfortable because it is teams that are below that line that can still make it. So, it's just a lot of implications on the night. And I'm two for two in the last two weeks on giving the, you know, big OG confirmation when I say. You know what I'm saying? Somebody's locked. You're you're locked. So I'm gonna give my unofficial, unconfirmed. It's six teams. Nets GC you are in. But again, unconfirmed, unconfirmed, as I have to say. But you know, we'll see probably in the first hour. I'm right, hundred percent. But it's just it should be a good night because it's just look, look how close it is. Look how close it is. Like you're gonna really have to fight. Yeah, sorry, JT. Crazy. I might uh I might I might side with our league ops team on this one, buddy. <laughs> nope. I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm like that for real. I'm, I'm like sure you real. are. And so are plenty of the teams that we have playing tonight. Let's get to our schedule starting at 6 p.m. Eastern time. Cavs Legion taking on the Gen G Tigers. And then Pistons GT going up against Celtics crossover gaming. Should be a whole lot of fun. Cavs Legion have to win or they headed to the Steel Open. Pistons and Celtics, not as much on the line, but very excited to see two of the best teams in the league go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. 645, T-Wolves Gaming taking on Jazz Gaming. Both teams trying to stay alive in the playoff hunt. And then Bucks Gaming, Grizz Gaming. If the Grizz win, they officially clinch a playoff spot of their own and send Bucks Gaming down to the Steel Open for the first time in team history. Into the 7.30 hour, we jump into our upper bracket, 76ers GC versus Lakers Gaming. And then Rim Runners versus Magic Gaming, our community team with their biggest challenge yet, going up against maybe the second best team in the league, one of the best 3v3 teams that we've had in a while outside of Lakers Gaming. Very interested to see how Shifty and company do against Unguardable, Jay Bullen, and low-key god like we will have more games at 8 15 and at 9 p.m as well but it's going to be all about the winners whoever can survive bucks grizz and t wolves jazz they'll go toe to toe and then the winner of piston celtics and Cavs gen g so we will get through a bunch of series on the lower end of our bracket and then at 9 p.m we will also have our two winners going toe to toe so it's going to be a whole lot of fun a lot of games coming tonight and let's check out our bracket before we dig into these 6 p.m matchups and you got magic taking on rim runners at the top lakers and sixers at the bottom very very excited to see who will be joining us tomorrow for championship saturday on the top end of things magic gaming's journey been a long one took down the hornets took down the pistons and now just a community team in between them and their second straight championship Saturday. To the bottom side of things, same thing for the Lakers. They got pushed to the limit by Grizz Gaming and Pacers Gaming. But like Dirk said, you just you just can't beat this team in a game five. They have been cooking with gas all year long. And now it falls on the Sixers to give them their first loss outside of a bracket reset. To the lower bracket we go. And JT, I'm going to bring you in here because I'm talking a lot about these scenarios, these different scenarios. So here's what I got for you. If the Cavs lose, the Nets and the Celtics both clinch. If the Bucks lose, the Grizz clinch. And for the T-Wolves to survive, they need to beat Jazz Gaming by a certain game margin. But if the Jazz sweep, they leap over Minnesota. Lots to follow tonight. Definitely lots to follow, and I'm I'm hyped for it. You know, I love all the scenarios. Like that's just gonna show. That just like it's gonna make tonight that much more exciting. 
because there's so much that can happen it's the tiniest thing that can go wrong and you're done like like you don't if you don't sweep here you're out if you do sweep you're in like like it's just that's how funky and competitive and close tonight will be it'll come down to everything is going to matter so if you're watching if you haven't played because games haven't really started yet you, you better come with it that's it come with it come with it up up let's get into our 6 p.m games here are your starting lineups presented by coinbase Cavs legion taking on the gen g tigers killy tb shifty and dj too cold going up against gallo larich and jolo gallo has been just sensational this year dirk very excited to see him go up against killy our reigning 3v3 finals mvp trying to keep Cavs legion out of the steel open yeah, and like the Cavs did look good yesterday. Um, they're, they're still the, the TB missed shots is the one thing that we have been talking about kind of the entirety of the season, but it was very glaring yesterday because there was a lot of closeout games they could have had where people would just made one of those jump shots. Uh, it was good to see though Killy kind of have a vintage Killy 3v3 performance that we've seen him have going back to last year when they went on this run. You're going to need more of that from Killy. Uh, he could not have any lapses like maybe he had at the start of three versus three. He's got to be in primetime mode if the Cavs even want to, you know, progress forward in this term. It's a, a super tough matchup because by now, we don't have to question Gallo anymore. It's not the same as last year. We're like, oh, well, this game, he dropped this. this. No, he is as consistent as they come when it comes down to his scoring. So it's going to be a lot of pressure on Killy here to try to match what Gallo is going to bring to the table. And hey, if uh, whoever wins this matchup, they might be matched up with Ant coming up on the other side. However, I am getting a report that Celtics Pistons game one already finished and we have the closeout of that game one. Oh, so production wow. team, if you don't mind throwing it up for us, we're getting games done fast and furious. Leche from way downtown. He'll knock oh, down that three. To heavy? And then on the other way, Leche with the layup and the finger roll for the five point win. What'd you say, Dirk? I didn't catch he, it. He, he greened the heavy. <laughs> and that first clip that we just saw that three i don't know what the percent was because it cut away from it real fast but sheesh oh, there, here we're, we're gonna, gonna show one more it. time just because uh just because we love you derek how about that i just want to see Leche yeah, for three what was the uh percentage on that one yeah uh, that was a red contest was like 50 something that's crazy yeah. Yeah, well, that's what ha that's what happens <clears throat> when you're a 64 percent three-point shooter on the season shout out to Leche, the milkman always delivers in celtics crossover gaming putting a, a 1-0 series lead in the six pack I wasted literally no time. <laughs> None at all. All right, JT, we've been talking a lot about your predictions over the course of this week. Let's start at 6 p.m. Who do you got? Cavs Legion, Gen G. Open us up. Give me Gen G. I feel like Gen G really is time for a bounce back series. They really didn't look like the top three team I've been seeing for most of the year when they lost to Rim Runners, but that goes to show just how good Rim Runners has been playing. But I think tonight they bounce back and they send the Cavs down to the steel officially. Very nice. Confirmed. Confirmed. And who'd you have in the uh, Pistons Celtics series? I'd guess Pistons, but I've been wrong before. Pistons. Pistons it is. Well, these two, these two series, the winner of these two series will end up playing each other coming up at 8.15. So get excited. It's going to be a fun night of NBA 2K League action. So before we get into that, just like in the slam open, Genji finds themselves battling in the lower bracket. Here's Gallo talking about his team's approach this time around. This time, um, obviously, we just dropped a very important series to Rim Runners. Shout out to the amateur team, those guys. They upslid us last night and they deserved to win. We're in the same position as we were in the slam, like you mentioned, third round going to the loser's bracket. Um, we're just coming in with the same confidence we had last time. We know our abilities as a team. We know what we have to do to go out there and win these series, win these games. So we're just going to lock in like we always do and try to come out with the victory. You know, it's nothing much to it. It's very simple. Um, we just have to execute and be better than the other team. It's that simple. Well, there's Gallo again talking, you know, bringing up a lot of great points. I got to say it, it's a, it's wonderful not only hearing him talk, but just hearing the the motivation, the leadership, the passion in his voice. Now, JT, he's come a long way from that quiet number one overall pick. He's starting to really break out. I'm telling you, he just needed his team. He just needed this team to, to become his. Sometimes in life, you just have to be pushed out the door. And with him only having one veteran out of five, that would... This is that moment. He's pushed out the door. He's seen that struggle just a little too much. He's shown himself over the years that he can do it, but can he be consistent? Can he close? But this year, 
he's doing everything. He's closing. He's, he's consistent. He's shooting probably the most efficient in the league. Like, he's just doing it all. Well, it's been a pleasure to watch him this year, and now we get another chance. Gen G, Cavs Legion GC, game one. Let's get it going. We do have the game two underway between the Pistons and the Celtics, too. You can head to twitch.tv slash team slash NBA 2K League to catch all the games that aren't the featured matchup in our blocks tonight. Got two games rolling out every, what, it's like every 45 minutes, 30 minutes, depending. 45, I think. Unless my math is terrible. Um, Pretty kind of yeah. hit or miss with the math sometimes. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Um, I do remember that the when the last time the Pistons played the Celtics, uh, the Pistons came out and said they used a Google generator to pick the archetypes in their matchup. I wonder if they did the same <laughs> thing in this matchup. I doubt it. I, I, I still yeah. doubt it the first time too, but. Pistons GT back to their usual positions, by the way. Joe Mara Locke, Connor Power Ford. It was very interesting to see them switch last night, but. You know, being down 1-0, I don't know. Maybe we'll see another switch right back, Derek. Yeah, that seems like an amp frustration call. I've been there. Uh, I've funny. been the center for him before, <laughs> and then I mess up, or I'm not completely locked in, and then all of a sudden I get tossed to the power forward position, and somebody else has to go. So I, I, I know it all too well sometimes. There's some habits that you cannot break. As we got Gen G here taking on Cavs Legion. It's a two-point game. Uh, JT, I feel like we could look at this matchup and say, Gen G should coast. Like, this, this should be one that Gen G should be able to sweep. Do you think it'll be that easy? I think it'll be Genji and four. I don't, I think one of these games at minimum, Killy will have a, a like I'm fighting type of series that just screams he wants it. But I just don't think as a team, they'll have enough to escape a top three seed. And I just don't like, like I said, rim runners are playing phenomenal. So no, I can't take nothing from them, but that's great. But it's just, I just don't, yeah, I, I just don't think they'll have enough. I think Gen G definitely takes this series in four. I know Gen G's got to be a little hurt dropping that series to Rim Runners yesterday. I mean, anytime that you're one of the best teams and you're making runs and tournaments that is coming through the lower bracket, it's just so deflating. It's, it's one of the toughest mental battles that you'll have to face when you're competing in tournaments just like this. It's the same conversation that we had with Detroit. It's like, if we just see finally the Detroit in the upper bracket make a deep run, get to a winner's finals, maybe they'll win. But, I mean, the, the bracket reset, we almost saw it, right, with Magic Gaming taking that first reset. But then you immediately saw once they flipped it in the slam open to that second series, it was, it was a quick sweep. It's very hard to do. Definitely, but he didn't, yeah. He should have reached at that point. Once he got that bump, he might have reached. He could have got the steal. But I feel like they should be just prepared for it because they've, you know, it's like a, a replay of, what's, uh, of what we've already seen happen. So, and they already have, like, number three on the, like, I won't say lock, but they're top threes. So now it just has to be fight for Ooh. money. It's not the added pressure if you have to win to make the playoffs. You just want to win to make as much money as you can before playoffs. Who let Killy at PG says she loved Deadly? Well, Killy won a 3v3 championship uh, at, <laughs> at the point guard position and also won the switch open last year too. So I think he's right at home at point guard. Yeah, he made the most money last year at point guard in 3v3. So I don't know about that one. You're on the right side. Just the three would put Pistons GT up to take game number two. And they'll go to Joe yeah. on the left corner and misses. Connor, though, does get the rebound there for Detroit. As Ant getting bumped around there by Lecce. Tries to hit the behind the back with the pullback. Oh, the shot for Ant. And Ugh. that one's hard off the back of the rim. And now you got a chance for Celtics crossover game to tie the ball game. They can't. Yeah, if he was the other hand open. But that's not the case. And Genji here on the left side oh. will take game number one emphatically 22 to 9. So now we can go full screen over here to Pistons GT and Celtics crossover gaming. And you just saw the mystery from the corner, I believe, from Krizzy. That would have been to tie it. Couple chances for Pistons GT to actually get the win here in game two. And Joe Mar. They find him on the back door. He'll throw it down to give him the three-point lead. Damn, this is another 
implication like Cavs lose they're out Celtics win they're in like it, it's just it, it's just implications all night every hour every hour it's some kind of implication it's some kind of scenario that can either clench you or you know send you packing or well, packing until a couple weeks when you have to have fun with the steal I was about Connor, to say right corner. Wide open in the corner, and he can't knock wow. it down either. No way. Oh, all game. Yep, 2-0. 2-0 Celtics. It's unfortunate. Lecce will take his time with Ant right in front of him. Working over heavy here on the right side. We'll just take the open lane that Ant gave him. That gives Celtics crossover game in the one-point lead. I caught that too early. I thought Lecce would give me up a three. Well, a three here could put it away. Uh, but all the attempts that Pistons GT have, I believe 0 for 4 collect as a collective right now for Detroit. As the throwdown goes down there, we're going to see a swap of the leads once more. Jomar's going to call on his defensive takeover. And they just go straight to Ant guarding ball. Not sure I, I agree with them making it go that easy to where you just have the point guard go right into the play. Antoine Love, no. I was talking about if the Cavs lose, they're in the steal. If the Celtics win, they clinch. If they lose, they're not necessarily out. If they don't clinch. And they're double teaming up high. Jomar gets the ball in the low block. Doesn't want the two. Can't get back out to the three-point line, though. They go deep with Ant. Got to put something up here. The behind-the-back move. Lecce steps up. Free board action. Who's going to fight for it? And oh! <laughs> two bodies down there. Chrissy comes out with it. And a smart foul there by Ant on the break. Of course. Wait, why did... Why did... Why did it's 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 two ways that break went wrong. Either Leche is supposed to drag out the three to let Tezo cut, or other way way around. Leche rim runs and Tezo goes out. But both of them going towards the paint. Fast break ran wrong. Leche, the hesitation, the pull up in the mid range. It's good for Leche and Celtics crossover gaming now go up 2-0. And now the question is, JT, do we see the same swap that we saw from Pistons GT just yesterday where Jomar would end up going to the power forward and Connor to the lockdown? No, no, just just stick with what you're going to stick with. Like, there's no point to make all these changes now. That's green. Oh, that's my Gank. first miss in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe with no takeover, just a little step too deep to kick it off. I like the confidence with it. I think it was greenable. Just a, a, a smaller window with the lower take and no green machine. That's a big shot. Oh, nice shot come out there from Killy as he gets the three to go. The perfect timing of the screen. The quick fade coming out there from Killy as well. 5-0 start here for Cleveland. And do they give up a three? They do. And Jolo connects. See, it's like plays like that I don't like. Like, you're up 5-0. Even if they score, it's 5-2. You have a three-point a three point lead with the ball. I don't like to just giving them a blank open three. And there's TB high arcing it off from the left side. Gallo will advance. Immediately goes down to Jolo. And just like that, it was 5-0 in favor of the Cavs. And now we're looking at a tie ball game. Let's head to our first listen tonight with the Gen G Tigers. I'm just shading. I'm just shading. I'm just shading. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Basically, oh, though. It's going to be some Basically. crazy shit. Yeah, but nah, nah, no. sprint too much high up on the, on the yeah. middle. Just take, take away baseline. Mm -hmm. Just take away baseline. Mm -hmm. Take low on him. Good, Jolo. Yeah, you. Okay. I don't like it. Hold on. Yeah, so I'm trying to get a fucking fluke. Good. Ten seconds. Eight. Trying to hit him. Seven. Six. He hugging. Go back. He jumped. He's trying to foul him. Thank you. That catch was insane. I was so ass. He ain't move for real. No, he didn't. He didn't. I thought he was gonna draw. He about this. I about to say hell yeah. You had the wide open line. Yeah. He was so close. Get a good shit. Not shoot, not shoot, not shoot. Ten seconds. Don't shoot, don't shoot, don't shoot, don't shoot. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good D, guys. Oh, you let DJ come in on clutch. Oh, that's me. That's me. That's me. Ah, DJ come in on clutch. Yeah, I'm gonna go. 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 I'm gonna go.
<laughs> crazy bro. It's tough. Fuck it, come on. Like 12 seconds. What's it, DJ? Mm hmm, mm hmm. Yeah. Hell no, he grinded it. Fuck. Wait, he did. Wait, wait. How was he up right there, going? He just slipped on. Yeah. Okay. Yo? I got you. We're trolling. Get it back. Oh. What's up, man? Come on. Yo, come Fuck on. These niggas terrible. We good. Come on. We need one. We need one. We need one. Good. Let's Remember, he came mass for real, Gallo. Okay. Good day. Good day. I think I want to shoot for real. Yeah! 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 yeah. Oh, what? 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 Nowhere near you! Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Another one, He's scared though, I'm trusting you, Hiller. He don't wanna, he's trying to pass you, he's trying to pass. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, he's mm. uh, crazy. <laughs> I didn't think he was gonna open that, bro. Trip, bro. For real, bro. I'm coming left. Shot. Shot. Come on, Gallo. Come on, Gallo! One, 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 come on. Yeah, we're gonna get this. I'm TB. Kill you if you are. Alright. You don't wanna go. Yeah. Oh. Should've been scooping. No. I was my he missed, he missed. Miss, miss, miss! Mm. He did the pain, I couldn't, I couldn't. You're good, you're good. But... Ten seconds. Hey. You trolling. Hell, no. You I trolling, bro! Yo, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the player said, "Oh hell no!" Us as a collective said, "What? Uh, what, what? What was that?" What the, the hell? From DJ <laughs> yeah, I should say that. Now I'm like, brother man, brother man, brother man. That's not the shot. Lay me. Also, uh, uh, we always pay attention to the detail when it comes down to the webcams. Uh, the Gen G Tigers are actually playing their game at the University of Kentucky Esports Lounge. Um, I know that their usual place that they play, I don't think it's directly on campus or it's close by, uh, but I know that the esports line is pretty dope. If I, if I remember correctly from seeing a picture, they actually have a stage set up where it looks like they're playing that has some like bleachers out in the crowd for people to watch. Uh, they played a game, I want to say it was last year or the year before there as well. That's dope. I thought he was about to take uh, another one of those mids. A mid mid, a mid mid range. Of course, Harris tries that. I feel like Killy had that corner shot. He just didn't take it. Now they might not score. Killy takes the three. DJ Tuchel yes. fighting for positioning down low, but Cholo and Lawrich down there together, able to get the rebound is Cholo. Gallo from the left side again. Connects. Where, where's the where's the defense at? Like, great shot by Gallo, but like, it's like his last two threes, he just walked into with no resistance. How will Killy respond? Working on the same side Gallo just was. Two point lead right now for Gen G. And the shot goes up there for TB. Absolutely oh, nothing there. As DJ will give them another chance. Then under 10 seconds down the shot clock. One on one. Point guard on point guard. Killy would just go on the inside. Good drop coming from there from Jolo. The Rondo S pass gets it up to DJ. He shoves the player out of the way. TB from way downtown. Can't get that to drop. He tried. Yeah. That was That's what counts. Just a, a jump pass, and he could never get truly back in position that wouldn't have made it limitless. That's oh, a God, dot, man. Gallo. Look at that. Perfect timing on the pass, and Lawrich able to knock down the shot. Everything smooth flowing right now for Gen G. And we got our game three up on the right side as Celtics crossover game, and they are up 2 nothing. So Pistons GT. Uh, and the next 10 minutes could be eliminated from the switch open. Make sure to keep everybody up to date on that one. We'll head over there when this game is over with. As Gallo won't take the shot. Instead, go down to Lawrich and TB will be whistled there for a foul. Yeah, he kind of has to take the ISO there. It's like lock on lock. That's pretty tough for Lawrich to score. So he just has to, he gets that switch. He just has to live with it. Take the bucket. Like right here, yeah, just space out for him. Space out for him. Straight down on the inside. The scoop Ooh. right over top of TB. I thought he was going to get there, but I thought wrong. Gallo gets the job done there again. And the Genji Tigers take a commanding 2 to nothing lead. Damn, that was a beautiful scoop lab. We've seen a couple of those over the past few weeks. Way more prevalent during the slam, but 
Gallo's always been the master of those nice scoop layups. We'll have more of that on the other side of this commercial break. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to the NBA 2K League. Couple of game three is going on for you. Cavs Legion down 0-2 to the Gen G Tigers. And over on the right-hand side, it's like Celtics crossover gaming. Currently up 2-0 in that series. So let's see if Pistons GT can fight back. It kind of shows you how good Gen G has been playing uh, when this Pistons and Celtics matchup was game one was done, what, like 10 minutes into the show? They got a, a real head start, and now we're sitting in the exact same games on both sides. <laughs> That's Gallo for you, man. He's been making quick work <laughs> of them. It's it's so hard to tell people, like, how quickly truly does a, like a dominant 3v3 game, like, come to a close or a series come to a close. Best way to do it is when you match them up side by side. One gets a major head start, goes up 1-0. Then all of a sudden you're looking at it like, wow, okay, well, they were able to get these games done pretty fast. But, I mean, JT, the offense right now, we know it's been great for Gen G. Uh, but it has been anything that Gen G wants to do. It could be getting Walrich well, involved, Jolo involved, Gallo. It has been working. I feel like they just 
And it's because as a collective, they shoot well from behind the three. Like, it's not just one player can really shoot or even two. I feel like Gallo, Lawrence, and Jolo have all been reliable from behind the arc. And that's been pivotal to them being a top three offensive team in the league this year. Well, one of our heavy favorites coming into this NBA 2K League season was Pistons GT. It's been underwhelming for the most part. They had a good slam run. We're going to switch, though, kind of fight to still stay alive. But if they fall here to such responsible gaming, you will be eliminated from this switch open. They'll set their sights on the playoffs. This is 19 to 17. Interesting. Yeah, oh, my God. Steal. though. They not that yet. Hand. They'll go down to Jomar. I think they want a three here. Just try to give them some sort of a cushion. And look at that. Celtic Scots were gaming, playing a three high. They go to Jomar. They try to go to the corner. Ball's going to be slapped away. Jomar does get it. Gets it over to Ant. He's to try to get something up here. Pistons GT fighting for it. Great defense. Ant takes the shot. Oh, it was for a moment. But Lecce got bumped to the side. Detroit is now taking the lead. Wow. That's disgusting. That's a demon shot by Ant. That's a dog shot. That is disgusting, Ant. I'm not going to lie to you. Lecce, one of them with Ant, takes the three. Can't make it. Oh, that's the wrong time to be shooting a heavy. And Connor to put it away, misses. <gasps> oh, and that's the wrong time wow, to miss a mid-range. Wow, this is the second game in a row. He's usually automatic, but yeah, to close out some of these games, he's been missing the big-time shots. And we have seen him hit all the three versus three. Lecce again will just go down on the inside. And they say, okay, we're trying to fight for the three a lot. Let's just take the two, get the lead back in our favor. Look at that Cavs Legion. 14 to seven. Good bounce back here in game number three. Fighting back. Man, it's it's so in GM4. It's so surprising to see Connor miss those shots. That's like that's like the superpower of this Pistons team. They're so good at closing you out. They should be up 2-1. They might go down 3-0 in this series. And for the win, no. And on the other side, it's blocked oh. by Joe Mark. Connor will get it. The defense keeping have, Detroit alive. You have to take your time there. Like you just have to take your time. Not the bad, not a bad take, not the best take. It's just rushed. Now, after the mystery from Ant, the previous possession, they just go straight down low to Connor. Back up by one, just trying to play it as safe as possible. I mean, Ant took the risk. Thank goodness they had Jomar there as a safety blanket for Detroit to give them another chance. Ball constantly being moved around now here by Celtics crossover gaming. Connor's in the play. Jomar's now there. Left corner was open for a moment. Won't take the shot, gets it down to Tezo. The pump fake the dribble inside and throws it down. Oh, this one of those. One of those. A lot of twos. Nobody wants to give up a single three. And these always give us one of the highest scoring threes games that you might ever see. Connor will get the ball down low back to Ant. A little hot potato between the duo of Ant and Connor. As it does end up going to Connor, finishes it off. Just constant movement of the ball, hoping they catch somebody lacking. They finally do. He doesn't take the shot. No, Lecce somehow wide open. And that will do it. Game three comes to a close. And Celtics crossover gaming sweep. Well, wow. yeah, that's kind of tough. Kind of tough. Swept. Owed. Swept. And by the way, with the so here, I'll, I'll give you a shocking statistic. With that 3 0 victory, Celtics crossover gaming now have the second highest winning percentage in 3v3 so far this year. They just jumped over Magic Gaming with that win. So I don't know. Maybe this is a team, you know, they lost early, but still one of the best that we got. Literally, they came into that series 0.4 win percent behind them. And with that sweep, like you said, number two. Number two, but I think they're still number, are they four now? With that win? 
Like, yeah, that they jump the over the Heat, the Heat Celtics, or sorry, the Heat Nets and Pistons. They're now our number four seed. As Legion GC, they get the win here in game three on the back of 12 points coming from DJ Cooper. I don't think coming out there from Philly, but good enough to get the front run. Nice win there by Cavs Legion GC to keep it alive. The winner of this series will go up against Celtics Crossover Gaming later tonight, coming at 8.15 p.m. Eastern Time. Let's check in on our lower bracket now that we have something to look at. And there is Celtics Crossover Gaming ending Pistons, G ending Pistons GT's run through the Switch Open. And by the way, guys, now that I think about it, this will be the first championship Saturday that we have had without Pistons GT since the switch. No, since the slam open of season five. Wow. It's been a long time. It's been a long, yeah, long time. That's six of them if my map is right. So yeah, the switch, playoffs, slam, switch, playoffs. So yeah, that's five straight. Unbelievable run comes to a close. The all-time leaders in 3v3 earnings, Pistons GT, they go down. And JT, you know, we, we talked in this offseason about how, you know, you replaced bag motion with Jomar. They're not they're not many better replacements that you can get, but there's ju it's just not the same without bag, huh? Jomar is great, don't get me wrong, and they're still a very good team, but there's just something missing without bag around. I feel like it's not I, I, I feel like it's more so on the on the MVP. I feel like he's just not playing M MVP basketball. The only thing I'll say that really is MVP basketball for him right now is he doesn't turn the ball over. Like like he takes care of the ball, but his shooting is not the best. His shot creating right now is not the best. I, even though he had a demon shot against Leite on, on that right wing. But it's just like I feel like he's the catalyst. He's the one that has to just propel everything. I feel like Joe Mar and Connor have had crazy games to where they just actually fought. Like we would never think to say like, oh, remember when Connor had that crazy game against Dietrich? Why did he have that game? Because of how many bricks they shot up. Like it, it, it's just like that's a big part that we're missing is offensively last year all three clicked. Yeah, well, there's a huge downswing in, in guard scoring this year in 3v3, but just for for uh, for reason, Ant last year, 12.3 points per game, 45.8% from three. This year, 9.2 points per game, 46% from three. So a definite downswing in his scoring, but again, uh, all guards are having downswing. Harris, I'm going to contest you on a point, and I don't know if I'm right or if I'll be wrong. Okay. Pistons GT didn't make it to championship Saturday last year in the Switch Open. They get eliminated by the T-Wolves in round four. I thought that was on Saturday. Didn't we have, didn't we have more unless, games? Unl unless it was different and they made it to Saturday because of that. But I was just going off of what the brackets showed and they lost in the lower round four. Mm. But I don't know how the scheduling, honestly, thinking back to last year, how it was. I'll go back and look at that. You might be right about that. That's confusing because I remember they had the dominant slam open run, the switch open. Uh, they came out completely flat footed and lost. But I don't, I, again, yeah, because we worked like what? It's like five hour days, six hour days with two games going on simultaneously. I think you're correct. So the Pistons T Wolves series uh, was in the lower round four. I thought it was in the lower round five, but you're right. So back to back switch opens. Uh, not great for Pistons GP. So I wonder if it'll it'll stay how it was. They had a good slam, bad switch, but we have a deep playoff run from Detroit. <laughs> all right, I exhausted all of my energy trying to dig deep and find that. That's why I don't ever try to go against Harris because it takes a lot of energy from me. Let's jump into a listening. Kelly got hit too. I don't even know how I got hit. Can you go? You guys can beat him with the crab. Figure it out. Yep. He's Reset me. Right, cool. TV. Nice go. Pocket racket. Come on, come on, come on. He's scoring, bro. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Good switch on your, on your go. Guys, wing. I'm going wing. Nice, he missed. Exit, exit. Defense, Killy. 
Nice, you're up. Be patient. Relax. Hit me and cut, hit me and cut, hit me and cut. Uh, X, 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 X. Slip pop, Z. Slip pop, Z. Wait, actually, no, no, no. Hold the screen, hold the screen. Nice. Nice, come on. Hey, Billy. Okay, hey, Back up, back up, no, back up, back up. I'm Jolo, I'm Jolo, I'm Jolo. Right. Play sides right here. Oh, God. I got his wing, I got his wing. Hey, okay. Damn it. Oh, I hate this shit, bro. That's me. We're good, I'm coming down right. Got TV. Wait, 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 wait. Be patient, be patient. All right, come on. What you want? Side right here, D. All right, send the left. Coming up right, send the left. Clip them. Come back. Wait. Reset. Wrap up, DJ. Hit me, hit me back, hit me back. Uh, you got six. Need a good screen right here. Four. Nice. What? I have it. No, I don't. Come on, Zola. Oh, there's it. Come on, we're good. 91% of edge. Yep. Yeah. Then you're not. Cut off the wing right here, T. Oh. Just... Patient, don't get bumped. Reset, reach. reset, reset. Go through, TB. Go through, go through, go through, go through. Don't play in the box, don't take it one side. I need a good screen, DJ. Oh, uh, you're backcourt, you want to set it while you're backcourt? Yeah, yeah, you can't just watch me uh, keep getting bumped. There's 14 seconds up, baby. Right, Come down, TV. Come down, you're good. He's hawking run me. Up, run up the court, though, Killy. Stop letting him come to you. That's it. Come on, T. Oh, we're good. Wrap up, D. Wrap up, D. I'm cutting. Wrap up. All right, come on. Cut. No, 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 no. All right. X. X. Got it. Come on. Ooh, listen, listen. Just run up the court. He's running. He's chasing the back court. Run up the court now. I need a screen, bro. Just, cool, just listen. No, just listen. Cool, just trust that. Cool. Just trust it. If it works, it's gonna work. I promise you. This Laura is killing. Yeah. I got right, him. So. Nice. Good team. Oh. Wow. He missed. Rebound. Rebound. Money hey, stop. You. Money stop. I'm gonna get one. He oh, bought you. Run up the court. Run up the court. Look, look, look. I got something. I got something. Wrap up. Uh, wrap up, DJ. Cut TV. When he gets it though, so early. Uh, no, that was on time. Next fight, we're gonna, we're gonna. Come on. Switch middle, switch middle, switch middle. It's cool. I got you, D. Oh, I got stuck on the goal. Yeah, nice. We're also, good. Come on. You can also front cut that. It's cool. Set it, DJ. Ah, uh, Cavs Legion GC giving us some gems back to back nights in those listen ins as they're trying to just figure th some things out. Not really on the same page, JT. Uh, you heard Killy call some stuff out. No real communication on, you know, when DJ gets the ball, that's when the cut needs to end up coming through, going a little early. So just not, not up there on the same page and at this stage is always, uh, I would say, worrisome. Yeah, I, I feel like he's just not making Lawrence pay for, for being this aggressive. Like, DJ was right. Like, when he's bumping you like that and he's playing going back like that, you can easily fly past him. Easily. Like, just one step and, you know, like, like, he just got to catch up after that. But it's just like... I don't know. It, it just seems like it's a. Uh, it seems like the the pressure is on. They lose this. They are eliminated from the switch open. All lower bracket action, which you're going to be seeing right now. And then once we jump into those games at 8:15, that's when we go back up to our upper bracket to see who are going to be the team squaring off in the winter finals, going down tomorrow. As DJ Two Cold Mid Range Jumper is good. Have a game five potentially the gallo's been the ice man when he has the badge in those moments to try to take a lead but they're just gonna go take the two and killy with a takeover on the other side as well just pop that i see he wants that backward screen like he's doing anything for him not TB got Jolo out of the play there for a second. Now Killy will barrel down into the paint. We'll kick it out to TB. Now back over to Killy. DJ Too Cold will be the one to set the screen this time. Killy trying to find some space. Mid-range jumper. Nothing there. Good positioning by Jolo. Now 18-18. A three here by Gallo can close out the series. Exactly why I don't care about badge, bro. 18-18. Game four. Win or go home. Force a game five. Get a two. He never tried to get a two there. He wanted a three way too bad. Gallo dancing around. Lost TB for a moment. The flare up there to Lawrich. Just goes up with it. Jolo has the positioning. Gets three of it. Killing gets the steal down low. And they'll go the length of the floor to TB as he throws it down. 
There we go. Now y'all are in complete control. It's just play super high. Force everyone off of the three. If you give up a cut or any two, it's fine. It's tie game. Like, yeah, that bucket is fine. Well, they got the switch. Players are in position as well. So now it's just Killy left on an island. Gallo fade away and can't connect on it. Wow. DJ Too Cold will come out with the rebound there over Jolo. And now Cavs Legion GC threatening a game five here. Killy, the inside, passes out of the shot. TB's able to get it. There's something about Killy for the game and just going up in the paint. And smart move there by TB. Waited out the animation, pushed him out of the way, and he threw it down. And now we are looking at our first game five of the night coming between Gen G and Cavs Legion. Ooh. Oh, man, there's something about Killy when the game's on the line. I just don't. I, I don't know. His, his decision making when they need one bucket this year, not last year. So I, I know he has a championship and a little and a and a tourney win. But th this year, decision making when the game's on the line, Killies has been shaky. Well, this is our next featured matchup. So let's go ahead and check out the starting lineups between T Wolves Gaming and Jazz Gaming. Like point based starting lineups: Two Talk, Bear to Beast, Iggy Mo. And of course, we got Justin Kaze and oh. Miami there for oh, Jazz Gaming. Uh, one side yeah. being super hot the entire <laughs> way. Uh, and then T Wolves Gaming trying to get back on the right track. Come here. Of course, the heavy guard matchup. Looking at the numbers. Harris, take me through this because you're our resident numbers expert from Tutok. Oh, I got you, buddy. How about 10.6 points per game, 2.1 assists per game. Been shooting the ball well from three, 62%. Now look at that usage rate, 52% usage on the season. He's been cooking so far, and now it's just a, a chance for him to really, you know, cement this T-Wolves gaming playoff spot. But he's got to get through that man, Kaze. Five points per game, about a half a steal a game, shooting great from the field and from three. Nice breakout season in year two from the lockdown Kaze. A very interesting matchup. I know we always talk about point guard on point guard, but it's never point guard guarding point guard here in the NBA 2K. Well, sometimes, but it's always that lockdown chasing them around every single time. Just something to keep an eye out for. As a three goes up there, that is a miss. Miami will get the rebound. But speaking of Kaze, we were able to catch up with him, and we talked about what kind of adjustments Jazz Gaming has made since the slam opened. We're feeling pretty good about the switch. You know, we just took a tough loss to the Sixers to make it to Final Four of the winner's bracket. That was our first loss in, I think, five series. We went on a nice little win streak. Very good chance to make it to Championship Saturday, we feel. Uh, we just got to come out and get the job done tonight, which I think we should be able to do. And big, huge change from the slam. You know, we really didn't have anything figured out in the slam. We went out really early. Didn't, uh, didn't have the best group play that we wanted. And uh, it's basically like a full 180. You can always have a different level of respect, JT, from a team who maybe started out hot, they start to hit a skid, and then they're able to pick it back up. I feel like so often we see teams start hot, and then when they start losing, there's really, you know, no turning back for them. There, there's no light at the end of the tunnel. They just keep going down the spiral. Definitely just never find it again, as in we can somewhat have that talk if if Gen G drops this, this series. That's back-to-back, -back and that's... Uh, Really bad momentum going into the playoffs, which we'll see about the end of the month. Can I, can I uh, pose a silly question here, gentlemen? Um, the past couple of games, Gen G has not been able to shoot the ball well. Is this because they they moved where they were Ooh. playing from? Like, could it be like a slight issue, just with like a little internet issue? I don't know, JT. You know that kind of situation better than us. But a, a weird time to to change playing spots. Definitely a very peculiar time to change spots this late. But I would say it has to be a safe assumption that it's only better or equal. So I mean, we'll see. But I'm just, yeah, I don't a change this late. Very peculiar. Very, very odd. You got 15-12 in this one. T-Wolves are up. Uh, also had the Bucks matchup starting out too. That'll be on one of our alt casts. I 
I don't know if I buy it, Harris. I look at the first two games that they played and it shot fine. So if you if you end up just shooting really bad the next two, that's, that's kind of on you. Okay, that's fair. Speaking oh, wait, 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 wait. They didn't. This is. Oh, yeah. I thought it was. I thought it was her series. I wasn't looking hard. But if they already have series in, yeah, no excuse green. No, they, they had two games. They're, they're, Dirk was just saying they, they were there the whole series, so they won two games and lost two games. I'm just saying that oh, their shooting's been uh, way off the last yeah, two that's games. Not, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not that's not enough. I'm sorry. It's not enough. I mean, I, I can't let it be the excuse, but, yeah, two games, nothing. See if the T-Wolves can close out this game one. Two talk, pull up midi, green. Good to see him going back over to that JT. I know that was something that you brought up that he really went away from, and that's when they started struggling trying to work that green machine. That's all he needs. That's all he needs because he's not the one thing I'll say, even looking at the full at the full screen we showed him, he might have had the lowest assist total I've seen since we've shown that. So he's not really about to beat you by dodging you. He's about to beat you by going to get a bucket. Nice shot there from Johnny Red. He ends game one of Bucks Gaming, Grizz Gaming, Milwaukee on top. We're going to head to a quick commercial break. We'll have Cavs Legion, Gen G, game five when we come back. Go, go. Let your head get in the way. Can't be defined by your mistakes. You know you try and you try really hard. But some Sometimes you fall, yeah, sometimes you fall. Suddenly you pass by now you're stuck on my mind Thinking how it's done 
Welcome back, showing you the end of game five of Gen G Cavs Legion. And who else? A little cook, a little behind Yank. the back, a little see you later, and a wide open three for Gallo ends it as Gen G sends Cavs Legion down to the steel open. And also that sound that you're hearing out there is Nets GC celebrating because they and Celtics Crossover Gaming have officially clinched their playoff spots. Cavs Legion, we will see you in the Steel Open. JT, coming to you. A little in memoriam for Cavs Legion. Probably maybe the biggest disappointment of the year so far. I don't know. Where do you rank the, them for threes? Number one. Number one in terms of disappointment. Like, it's just they, and they use their lineup. They might be the only team this year that I can say struggled this much and never made a change. But because it was never the lineup, they just couldn't shoot the ball. Well, it was shocking to see Cavs, you know, sorry, Shift A, Killy, DJ Too Cold. Like these are these are household names. These are guys who have hit big time shots. They've they've been in the biggest moments and they just it was it was they were laying bricks all year, Jerk. I mean they just we just couldn't get any consistency out of them. Do you just call me jerk? I said dirk. Did I say jerk? I might have just said it fast. I'm sorry. That's okay. Dirk, uh, <laughs> uh, what do you make of the Cavs shooting issues this season? Oh, man. I, 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 I never know with shooting issues because like, we've, we've seen these guys play so much 2K. We've seen them be elite level shooters on so many different variations of the game that it's just very hard to believe that they would be like bad this year. So I, I don't know. I, shooting issues are always hard to, to really like decipher and, and really pinpoint like, okay, like this is, yeah, th this is what's going on because it all comes down to the player. Like some might blame controllers. Some might blame their internet. Some might blame their monitor. Like you never know which way it's going to end up going. Um, so I, I, I will be interested because I don't think I've talked to any of the players about like what their shooting struggles are like and, and genuinely like having a conversation with them. Is it just, then this year maybe they just can't shoot or is it something else but um it, it, it was definitely one of the more head scratching moments of this three season was with this team that we anticipated probably being a contender with all the guys that they picked up running out there with the anticipated and predicted threes roster and having nothing to show for it we'll see Cavs legion after the bye week in the steel open a uh, disappointing end to a, a team crafted for 3v3. I mean, she's JT. You get Killy, Shift A, and DJ Too Cold. You at least expect to avoid the steal, but not to be this year. Cavs leave. Oh, we'll see you later. Um, that was definitely one of my lock playoff teams. Like, not even, Me too. Not even a debate. I seen <laughs> that three. I'm like, DJ from NBL, top threes team. TB from T Wolves, top threes team. Killy from Dukes the best threes team i'm like this is like but as as he check gaming coach slash gm famous enough always likes to say names will be names the game still has to be played they really just showed that by themselves i don't know jt i think this means that killy was low-key god like made i don't know R rumors. Oh, <laughs> rumors oh that's yeah, yeah that's so good I'm, I, I, I ain't doing that that's so good I don't know. Oh. That's so dear. Because he still got open. He just smoked him. And then it's like, I don't I don't know. I I, I will say his decision making without Loki got like to close a game took a tremendous dive downwards. I'm talking about like tripping fell down a whole flight of steps. Best safety valve in the league. Yeah, by the way, the Bucks just took game two. They're up 2-0 over the Grizz. Uh, was not expecting that. Expected a little bit more fight back coming from Grizz Gaming. Of course, the games have been close, but we'll see if they could try to pull off the reverse sweep to try to stay alive. No, oh, that Bucks might be back. And oh, he's giving up the a, steal. Oh, oh slapped oh. it right to Miami. So oh. unfortunate. Yeah, that hate is to so see foolish. It. That is so foolish. Like that may be the craziest bucket I've seen this year off us supposed to be stopped. The defense, Iggy Mo. That is insane. We'll remember that in our hearts. Maybe not in the stat sheet, but definitely in our heart. Where were oh, you I when Iggy Mo should have had a steal, but slapped it to Miami and he threw it down? Should I just add an extra steal to Iggy Mo's stat line this year? I, I have the power to do so. <laughs> <laughs> nah. We get 
We get enough accusations of being biased. No thanks. Eleven to ten. T Wolves up in the series, up in the game. Is Two Talks defense being tested here? And he passes the test, gets the steal. Let's jump into a listen in with T Wolves Gaming. Yeah. You're a legend. Oh, cool. Hey, go free. Go free. Let me fight. Fake, fake step this one. Fake step this one. Oh, drop and you get the drop. I'm good, Iggy. All right, all right. I'm trying to talk yeah, to you. I'm there. I'm there. I'm there. Uh, yep. oh, 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 I got Justin. I got Justin. Uh, get out. Yes, I ran to the left wing. Hey, on the offense, if you're dead, go three out to chat. Power, power left, power left. Come here, come here, come here. All right. Iggy got the baby. I'm going corner. Hit me, wait. Looking now. for the midi. Wait, now, now, now. Come on. Okay. Take it, take it. I'm on our badge. Bet. Um, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna call a cut for Iggy. Okay. Clear up, Bear. Hit me back. Go, Iggy. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Board A. Good shit, Iggy. Come on. 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 Hey, we can wizard it whenever, Bear. I got back. All right, come on, come on. I like hey, it, too. Hey, wizard with AG2, Bear, okay? All right. Hey, listen, split pops and take us, fellas. Miami still got bad. You want to just... Yo. Right. You're good, Iggy. Go through, come Iggy. Come on, Bear. Yeah, fine. Yeah, we live we live it. Going for the touchdown if he come up. Good. I'm hitting you, Bear. All right, come on. Hold out to there. All right. Go they going to play aggressive? Go up, go up. Uh, come down. Come I'm down. I'm running up. I'm running up. You want to come down? Go up, too. They're gonna play aggressive. Uh, now. Go, go, Iggy. You go, you go, you go. I got it. Come on. Come on, two. Go threes, go threes, defense. Miami still got an edge. Miami got an edge. Let's flip off some tickets, bro. Come on, Miami. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes, yes. Good job. Yo, shit, I got it. Damn. Three up. All right. I'm going Give me the right corner. Give me the right. Come on, dude. Come on. Us, bro. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's switch. Let's switch. Let's switch. Sponsor us. Again. Nominal performance coming up there from two top 17 points to close that one up for T-Wolves Gaming. Live from Dude. the T-Wolves Gaming Park. Bear to Beast had the best reaction to that shot. He just went, oh my god. He got up immediately. <laughs> Couldn't believe it. <laughs> that, that man. You know, it's, it's always fun, JT, when we have prospects like that where... You know, you, you just, you really want them to break out just so that they can prove all the haters wrong and all the people, the Zen accusations and all that junk. Man, he is, he is every bit as good as we could hope for. He, he's probably leading the rookie of the year race right now. Which when I said that was my rookie of the year, I was called crazy. Well, not by y'all, but by, by <laughs> players. I was called crazy for, for not locking in Benzo. I would say Benzo is probably the favorite, but he's still the number two pick, you know? Yeah, like, I, I do think it'll come down to those two, unless Jay Bullen just goes to fives and turns into yeah. an absolute mythical creature. I mean, <laughs> he's, he's, looked, he's looked half the part already in threes. I agree, but it's like fives, he'll have a, he'll have a, not a lesser role, but a lesser, like, flashier role. Oh, yeah. So it's 2-0 for the T-Wolves. And it is the Bucks up 2-0 here in this game three as they hold on to a two-point lead. Uh, Harris, we expect a little bit more from Grizz Gaming coming out in this series? I was. This is a real letdown series. Uh, they're kind of getting punched in the mouth right now. And, you know, it just goes to show you how small the margins are at the highest end of 3v3 in the league. Like last, last, last night, they were, what, two made shots away, two or three made shots away from leading Lakers gaming going into game four like they should have been up 2-1 in that series instead they were down 2-1 in that series now they might get swept out of the tournament entirely we, the picture can change real quick in the NBA 2K League Derek you can never can't slack off one shot specifically 18-18 
Game two, Vandy fades on the right without badge. Game one, he faded with badge on the left to end the game. Game two, he missed without badge on the right. Yank! My lord. Like that. <laughs> but uh, it was like, but those are just those shots. I keep preaching it to teams. 18-18, if you can't get up a three very early, like a quick, easy one, be comfortable taking that two. Because if it's 2018, the pressure is in on them because then they might three hunt so long as we've seen. If you three hunt too long, half the time minimum, you don't get a two because now they're playing it. Now that they're fine with you shooting the two, being drained low, stamina, one or no adrenaline bars. That was a yank attempt, oh. but a booger. But yeah, he just, him missing that shot last night, that changed the whole series. It gave it gave Lakers game in too much life. By the way, Dimes rocking a Bad Bucks hoodie. I don't know if I've seen that this, uh, honestly, ever. I don't think I have either. Maybe trying to channel their inner something something from season five out here in season seven. As they continue to go back and forth. Uh, that missed by Vandy and then the Bucks not being able to get the rebound was massive because after second chance Vandy got him a three they take the two this time Johnny Red it's got Vandy switched into the play he'll go back over to Dimes as Johnny off ball movement to perfection gets Vandy lost and drills the three that's that two guard in him that's that two guard in him. Come get some. Hey, that's that two guard in him. That's that point guard in dimes. They're off that pass, too. <laughs> uh, the world of threes is always interesting. So many guys playing out of their natural position as we are now tied up at 17. Back against the wall here for Grizz Gaming. The Bucks lead two to nothing. As that ball's going to be slapped away there by Icy. Vandy on a run out. They can't get the stop. Ah, that's an unfortunate plug, but great defense by Icy. Now the again, now, now the pressure is on the Bucks. Because if they take a two. Oh, they find Dimes dot. wide open in the corner and Dimes oh, connects. No, that's unacceptable. That's just, uh, but that 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 that's Grizz gaming to me. The the random defensive mishaps that they showed me in the slam, that was one of them. Andy just goes down to Icy as they'll take back the lead. And if you're the Grizz, no threes by any means necessary. You just gave up an easy one there in the corner. As they get it to Dimes, Dawsix fake the set on the screen, trying to get Icy out of the play, but he still remains in it. Johnny Red, some space, the three. Off the inside of the right side of the rim, pops out. And Icy will smartly slow things down to let Vandy cook. That's old. That's a bold shot by Johnny Red. He tried to drop him. And yeah. Vandy with the pull back to three in the green. It's Chris Gaming. Stay alive here. We will see a game number four. Definitely a statement game. Definitely they had control. It was 1917, and that pluck changed the whole game. That pluck changed the whole game. Well, great game there from Vandy to keep Grizz Gaming in the switch open. The winner of this series will play the winner of Jazz Gaming and T-Wolves Gaming next round. So the, the night will continue into the 8.15 and 9 o'clock hour. We got a lot of great games coming up for you guys later. So we check in on the lower bracket. Gen G and Celtics crossover already through. These are the games we're currently watching. T-Wolves Gaming just one win away from getting Jazz Gaming up out of the switch open and into the steel a brutal outing for jazz gaming a team that seemed to finally turn a corner jt but their backs are against the wall one last time one last time and it, it they're they're probably number two for me when it comes to looking at them on paper how good will they be i just i had i had this jazz team being <gasps> just was that a lineup change? Uh, Fiend no, is no, no, in no, the no. lineup for the first time coming into the playoffs. But first, wow. first time all year, Fiend is now in the lineups, down 2-0 in an elimination game. 
I'm telling you, nah, no, no. I'm I what? I'm telling you, no, 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 no. I'm looking huh? at comp like no. Nothing to talk about. No. I'm well, cool. I should mention no. uh congratulations to Fiend. This is his official NBA 2K League debut. Uh a pretty stressful time to be making your debut, but a debut nonetheless. Was Justin playing no. that badly? Let's see. Looking at comp like, no, I'm good. What was crazy Let is I, I came out and saw the first couple dribbles. I'm like, damn, I, I never see Justin move this fast. So I immediately went to the op sheet to look to see what ended up happening, what changed. But yeah, sure enough, Fiend is out there in the lineup. Wow. Getting the biggest no from me. The biggest no. The biggest. I haven't played all year. All year. Not, not, oh. Okay, you know, I played a couple times. You know, O2. I had a couple runs. We have not seen him all year. I'm Just shocked. Don't, Genuinely. Yeah, no, nah, I'm, I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm sorry. Backs against the wall. You got to change something up, JT. Your backs have been against the wall most of the year. Where was the change up? They brought Rhea in. But you never brought Fiend in? Don't bring him in now. To see, drafted Justin for threes. I don't know. I, I'd go out with him. And who, yes, uh, you are seeing forgive Justin's name. That is simply a visual glitch. It is Fiend. Fiend. We'll see if the, the lineup change ends up paying off here for Jazz Gaming as Bear to Beast still scooped that one in there for T Wolves Gaming. A very interesting change. I feel like specifically to JT at the guard position. It's one thing if you're a small forward and power forward and it comes down to shooting some of your shots. We've already seen how difficult it was for guys making their, well, actually every single player making their debut in season three to try to be able to establish a good shooting rhythm. What's going to be a contest? What isn't going to be? Um, I'll be shocked if we see him get right into a rhythm of shooting some in between, like splitting the defenders, maybe some crabs. It's going to be tough. That's what I'm saying. It's just not, it's just not fair. Like, like th this is the, the second day in a row I've seen players play that haven't played. I've seen Radiant play power forward for the first time in their last time to play that's not the steal. And it's the same thing right here. Like, if they get swept, do you say Fiend can't play the, can't play in the steal? If they get, when they come short, based off what, one game? It's like, I just, yeah, me. Me personally, like, you have a threes team, kind of like, you have to down that sword. See, the biggest problem is that now I, I just have Fiend by Travis Scott stuck in my head. Speaking of Travis Scott, by the way, uh, you guys should go vote on the uh, the next round of the new artist competition. We'll be showing the bracket a little bit later. That bracket went exactly how it should have went, except the one me and Mar went back and forth about. We'll get it. We'll get into that later. Johnny Day. Sorry, it's uh, it's, it's stuck deep in my head. I can't stop. It doesn't even matter because Nicki Minaj is winning the entire thing. Yeah, dude. Oh, my God. The bars have <laughs> taken over as soon as they see a pole posted with Nicki Minaj in it. So ch just chalk it up. Put her in the finals. Give her the, the 95 to 5% victory. I, I, young I, boy. I, I mean, dude. my boy Rod Wade win it. Take her down. Bro, I, I, That's a I, I sat there and I saw the new one just got posted with, uh, I think it was what, Drake versus Nicki. And within like the first like couple hours of it being posted, I think there was like a thirty some thousand votes or something like that, or thirty four thousand views just on the poll. She was winning ninety six to four. <laughs> <laughs> that is so ridiculous. Barbs don't mess around, JT. At all. Got thirteen and nine here. As Tutank will take this one in rhythm and he'll green it. He's just been on fire this whole series. And yeah, now he's back. He's back, back. He was he was too heavy for a couple weeks. Now he's back shooting with confidence. He's shooting all his shots with confidence. And when he does that, he's one of the most dangerous players in the league. 16 to 9. As Fiend lines up a shot. And that one is smothered and out. But Miami will give them a second chance at it. And the T-Wolves just say, go ahead and dunk it. We'll guard the three-point line. Yeah, see, he just, he, he really just loaded up to only, yeah, I'm, 
I'm sorry. I, I just I, I don't like it, and I, I won't I won't I won't be quiet about that. I can't. Tutak again from behind the arc, and it was Fiend being able to get there for a contest. Now he'll take this one in rhythm, and he'll green it 13. percent I just can't. Like, like, like he could have. They had multiple slides where they didn't look good, to where we could have been seeing him play, like we seen real play. And he gets the last game of the season before the steal. Corner to corner. Oh, touch pass, what good ball green movement. Game. Two talk to finish it off. Greens it. I God, that was crazy he, ball movement. Yeah. I knew once he went down there and jumped, it, it'll be corner to corner, that top of swing, and then it'll be an open trade ball. T-Wolves Gaming to close out the series on this possession. It is with Tutak. Kaze, though, says, let's extend the play just a little bit longer. Knocks the ball away as Jazz Gaming try to bring it to within one. Potentially tie the game up here as well if they can get a three. And need they'll just take the anywhere. easy two. Yeah, need to stop anyway. Two or three, so. Don't even waste much time. But, uh-oh, he's trailing. Fair to peace. Big burst of speed to get that one passed. They'll let him work out in the corner with just uh, with sorry with Fiend on him. Oh, and yeah, I get baited eyes, by though. it. He eyes, so. He'll be held up. Oh, he dexed him something crazy. And we got him again. They left two talk there for a moment. Bear to beast. The deep mid-range jumper, no good. And it will be Jazz Gaming coming out with it. So because we're playing with food, y'all might lose the Y'all might not complete the suit. Oh, and Fiend, oh, no. way oh, deep never, shot for downtown. Never mind. Never mind. Trying to go for it again is what it looks like. Igimo gets lost there for a second. Fiend will take the shot. That's another miss. And Tutok will get the rebound. Now he'll advance it. Midi pull up right there from the free throw line. Phenomenal series coming out for the rookie Tutok as T Wolves Gaming. Sweet Jazz Gaming. And. Jazz Gaming now officially eliminated from the switch open. Jump over here. Game four. Grizz up by four. As Dawsix can't hit Ooh. the shot. Chance to extend the lead even more here for Memphis. Another game five. Vandy from downtown. No good. It's possessions like that. I'm trying to tell you, and then it's layups like that that make your shot not so bad. Like maintain control, literally just maintain control. You're down two one. Force a game five. Maintain control. All the fit, all the fifty fifty like nut shots just have to go. Oh, Dawson slaps that one away. Clean steal coming out there from him. Johnny Red and Dimes running to the exact same spot on the floor. Good recovery coming out from Grizz Gaming. As Johnny Red will just find an open avenue down the baseline. If Grizz Gaming come back and win this series, y'all, uh, our playoff picture, which was looking like there might be some fun scenarios and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, uh, no. If Grizz Gaming win this series, our entire playoff picture is decided. We still have seedings to figure out, but... We will have our 10 teams for the playoffs and our 15 switch team, or uh, excuse me, steel teams. So you're telling me if Memphis wins, I can report on playoff standings because I can't be wrong. Yes, yes, Let's you go. can. Absolutely. One spot left. Andy on the inside Ooh. dimes did get the drop. But I saw Ubots post in the chat. He's like, you're really giving Vandy another chance at this. It has that kind of the same vibe that we just saw Grizz Gaming had against Lakers Gaming, right? It's like when you're playing LA, do not give them a sign of life. Do not just give them that one game. And they did that here with Vandy. I mean, if they win here, this will force a, a game five. And you would automatically, after you win two in a row, you have to favor them to be able to take the series. I mean, they've been in firm control of these past two games. Oh, right here. Dawsix just glued to his hip. As Vandy tries to shake him off, he'll go to Icy. And the immediate switch to get Dimes into the play. Two seconds to work with the behind the back. Dawsix up in the air, Vandy fades, can't connect. And that one's out, Dimes will get it. 
and he'll just throw it down. They'll take the two, all squared off at 19. They're trusting their defense. Dawsix with a massive bump. Forces Fanny to go to Odon. Now he's into the paint. He throws it down to Grizz Gaming. They have forced a game five. Bump oh, another game. They just know how to fight. That's the one thing I'll say about new Grizz game. You know, like the like we figured it out. Even the series they drop, they fight. Like, like they really have become this team that is tough to just get out of the way, even when it looks like you have the series in the bag. Grizz Gaming forcing a pivotal game five. Bucks Gaming trying to keep their 3v3 season hopes alive. But now, by the way, we, we can we can talk about some teams who have clinched. We can talk about some teams that haven't quite yet. There is one spot left, and Bucks Gaming is fighting for it. I can now say that 76ers GC has officially clinched. They will end up at 110 points, which will leap them above Grizz and T-Wolves after tonight. So the Sixers are in following the Jazz Gaming loss. Really the only team that hasn't clinched yet, ironically, is this Grizz Gaming team. If Grizz Gaming lose, then the Bucks have an opportunity to take their spot. T-Wolves Gaming as well with their win. They have officially clinched with 110 points. So shout out to Minnesota. And shout out to Tutak it sounds like we are going to have coming on broadcast with us for an interview. So excited for that. It sounds like he just joined uh, joined our channel. We'll try to get him in here in a second. Let's see if we can actually reach him right now. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the number two overall pick for your T-Wolves gaming. And now 3v3 playoff guard, Mr. Tutak himself. My man, how you doing? What's up? I'm doing good. How are you? Doing good. Doing good. Well, my friend, how, how does it feel to officially have a playoff spot clinched you guys have had a, an up and down season but you finished top 10 it's got to feel good wait we got we got a playoff spot yeah man you guys officially clinched with that win oh yo we clinched for playoffs already <laughs> what we didn't Ooh, they're saying they didn't. I'm saying oh, we did. We're gonna have a me and J do you know what two talk? Me and JB are gonna have a fight after this. How about that? Uh, we'll we'll get into the that, ring. So we have to like go hard for the next game. Uh -oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, you guys got to keep winning. Now it. you have I, yeah. seating on your side. Remember, two talk. The last thing you want to do is end up possibly getting Lakers gaming in the first round. Yeah. So keep on winning. But let's talk about you for a second, man. You know, you came in the number two overall pick. You've been vibing with this team. Barrett, Lockdown, Iggy Mo at the four. What, what have you made of your rookie season so far? Uh, I like it. It's a. Uh, I've been playing threes for a long time. I've been playing since like 2K17. And just playing with Bear, like he does some something with the ball. I, I do off balls. And it's just easy for me, at least. Tutak, give a breakdown on your play style, right? Because I feel like so many people who play three versus three, you're always seeing a point guard out there with the point guard archetypes. But for you being a shooting guard, you've been rocking with the shooting guard archetype for, I think, the entirety of this season. Why is it? Why are you using that? Is it just more of a comfortability thing going from retail into the league? Or do you just some benefits that you see with this build compared to maybe what everybody else is on? Uh, it's definitely benefits. I have 85 steel, if you don't know. 97.3, I have T-Mac base. I have every everything I use in retail and now it's in the league build so I might as well use it it's just an inch shorter so I usually use a 6'6 six, six anyway but that build 6'5 so it's really the same thing I'm just used to it you you were my pick for rookie of the year very early before we even played a game and I, I got flack for it but coming into it like how do you really like is there a difference from the domination we've seen before you were a pro and then now it seems like you play with that same confidence are you just that comfortable or is it just like that's just your game well first i knew that we got to win to get to the playoffs obviously and um that just made me go more hard go harder for um and clinch the playoffs <laughs> well a man of few words but a man who we will be seeing tomorrow or actually we'll be seeing him later tonight yeah. when they take on the winner of grizz gaming and bucks gaming for a shot to get to championship saturday well to talk thank you for joining us we're gonna hit a quick commercial break we'll have the closeout 
of, excuse me, yeah, close out of Grizz Gaming and Bucks Gaming when we come back. Go, go. I don't know why they think me and Dre look so alike. I asked my mom, she she doesn't see it. I sent the picture to Troll, because I didn't think they would actually use the picture. But now that they're using it, like it's just so funny because they took the phone out of the picture. Yeah, I've seen a photo, I've seen a photo. They call it my evil twin. It's funny because we kind of do look alike, but I see what they talk about. They call it my evil twin. It's just a funny inside joke. It's funny. So yeah, it's pretty funny. I ain't gonna lie, it's pretty funny. I didn't think they were gonna use the picture. Well, that's Dre and Shifty. They're not playing against each other tonight, but Shifty takes a lot after Dre. 11.5 points per game, shooting great from the field. Dre's scoring numbers are a bit down this year, but the assists are up. The efficiency is good as usual. I don't know, JT, you be the judge. They look uh, enough alike to make a hubbub about it. What do you think? When you look at those two picks, mm. I think so. I feel like mm. Shifty is just like mm. a demonic looking version of Dre. Why are you making all that noise? Uh oh. Oh, JT. Mew Gang. <laughs> Mew Gang. Come out to play. I forgot. Now y'all have a, like, a crazy way of knowing now. This mm -hmm. is bad. Mm. That's just unprofessional. <laughs> I wasn't here. Why that not? sounds like a personal problem. <laughs> uh, by the does. way, I didn't know that they photoshopped the camera, uh, his phone, out of his hand in that photo. I saw that. 
saw that. I mean, I have to see the pic with his. Oh, oh, is, is that why, is that why his hand going up like everything possible? Yeah. That's why his hand looks all deformed. He's holding a phone. Well, let's lock into this game five. 1917 there after the Johnny Red Slam. A spot to try to stay alive here in the Switch Open. All right, Harris, you already brought it up. The Grizz, they take this. And they are officially in the playoffs, and our picture has been completed. As they go to Vandy, open three to put him at 20. He drills it. Inexcusable. Inexcusable. Sheesh. But I think Jay Red wants it here. Oh, yeah. I'm you gotta go for the win. Now. Gotta go for the win. They're going up high. Daw six is open there for a second. Odon jumps out of the play. <gasps> Daw six from downtown misses. But Jay Red was open for a second. They can breathe with Vandy in front of him. Wow. Will Johnny Red go for the win? He wants it. He takes it. He can't wow. make it. Vandy on a run out has to pull it out. No way Daw six just missed that. There wasn't a guy within 10 feet of him. They all drop down there on Vandy. They'll get it back over to him with dimes in front. The behind the back, the pullback, the shot, the <gasps> shooting foul. Bailed Vandy out. will get a fresh 24 seconds with takeover to close out game five. Yeah, that's a bell out. <laughs> so that's bailed out. Oh, it's getting frantic here. 15 seconds. Vandy tries to go for the dunk meter. Why? And he, and he tried to bang on one of wow. y'all. I, I don't know about that one, Chief. I don't that would have been that was risky. Oh, dives out of the well, play again, takes the shot and greens it. What just happened down the stretch? He just tried to have the craziest clinch a playoff spot moment in 2K League history. That bang out was crazy. I am stunned. <laughs> Dimes goes back to back against his former teams. He takes down the Kings yesterday. He takes down the Grizz today. I need a replay of that one. That was fantastic. Vandy just couldn't get the dunk over Dimes. And then on the other end, it was Dimes for three out of the corner. They got to stop jumping everywhere, JT. They're flying all over the place. They jumped at Dossix. But there's Dimes waiting for Don to fly oh, by. Oh, it's cold. And then he gets it done. Grizz Gaming. They're not clinched yet. They're not in the steal yet, but they are out of the switch open. And now, next round, gentlemen, another chapter in the T Wolves Bucks rivalry. They will face off next round. Man, I lost count of how many times I've seen this team play in both modes. <laughs> I lost count. So many. Endless. Oh. JT, I want to go back to that last play with Vandy. Do you think that because he had an angle on the drive that he would have going for the dunk meter because he would have got probably a, a bigger green window with the guy that was on him and then like dimes just dropped out of nowhere? Do you think that was the anticipation? I think it was, but I've, I, I honestly feel like right there, it goes back to what I've always said. When their season's on the line, you almost have to expect the hero play. Like, oh, Don's in that left corner waving his hand like, Vandy. Hi, how you doing? Hello. Hi, sir. How you doing? Good day. Good day. I'm open. Like, it, it, it's just when the game's on the line, expect that cape to come out every time. It's rare a team has shown me otherwise. Rare. So that, that's just him. Like, even him doing a regular dunk there, taking a hand, I wouldn't have been mad. I feel like the stick dunk is just too ballsy. It's too risky, as we've seen the very late. And Dom's was under the rim, so I don't... I'm just not sure how big the meter was because this game is strictly about positioning, not an actual race. Well, it actually put Dimes in a contact dunk animation, too. That's where I think it all really just went south for Vandy. Right, but a contact dunk is rarely like this super small bar. Yank. And hey, what a way to close <laughs> it out there. Uh... Adding some fun theatrics here on a Friday night. But now we're shifting to back to our upper bracket. We got Lakers Gaming, 76ers GC. This is our featured matchup. And of course, we have the Rim Runners and Magic Gaming. Uh, they are squaring off as well. I mean, I'm still just stunned. I, I can't remember the last time I even seen Vandy use a dunk meter. I'm going to be honest with you. 
Like it's been a while. Oh, I, I, no, 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 no. I seen him last week. He did it a couple times last week. Oh, he loves that dunk meter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he he's he's shown it. He's he's showcased it. So it's not like he's doing something new. He just did something a little too risky at the wrong time. That was the wrong decision. But don't worry, Chris Gaming fan. The Bucks have to literally have a run to, you know, to really just throw y'all out of that 10th spot. They have they, to make a run. They need to win one, two, at least three more rounds. A run. That is a run. That means they have to beat. They have to beat the T-Wolves, and then after that, they have to beat the winner of Genji and Celtics, and then after that, they have to beat somebody from the upper bracket. So they have to make a run. Not saying they can't, but I'm saying if you're a Grizz Gaming fan, don't panic yet. Magic Gaming closed it out on the right side there in their game number one, 23 to 15. That's a good offensive performance we just saw from Shifty, but not enough. As unguardable and Jay Bullen combined for 21 points themselves. Back over here to the feature matchup. As Kai will get out to VC. Deep midi is money there for Yo VC. 18-13 now. Don't worry. Two and two again. Just not my week. I'm sorry. Just not my week. I I, I guess I, I was bound to have a, a bad week. And this is what that, that week is. <laughs> like, I'm like, bro. Two and two again. Like, I picked... The Pistons and I picked the Grizz. Wrong on both. And I picked Gen G and T Wolves. My prediction for the rest of the uppers is Magic and Lakers. Which of course top two seeds pick the favorites, but favorite doesn't even matter. I mean, Games still I, have to be played. We ain't pick I I mean, yeah, they do, but yeah. you'd be smart not to pick this team to lose. <laughs> Because oh, <laughs> they goodness. are just ridiculous. Another win. 21 15. Uh, LA will take game one. And we, yeah, we got a chance for a, a lot of history to be made here in this tournament. I mean, we could see the the identical winners' finals that we had the last time around in the slam as well with Magic taking on LA. We could potentially see that when these uh, series are all said and done. So, a lot of craziness that can happen. Well, Lakers Gaming looking to extend the best start to a 3v3 season in 2k league history currently 17 and 1 52 and 23 in games we'll see the rest of their series when we come back
Welcome back to the NBA 2K League. Magic Gaming taking on Rim Runners. Magic Gaming currently up 1-0 in this series as Quickster lines up a three and knocks it down. Yeah, it was a good fight by Rim Runners, uh, but you really started to see uh, how big of a difference there is when you're looking at gameplay from Lakers Gaming and Magic Gaming and how fluid just everything seems to go on the offensive side, the defensive side, you name it. Speak of fluidity. Look at that. <laughs> Pass from Loki, godlike from the paint, out to unguardable, working with, with no screen, just going one on one with Shifty. Yeah, it's just that that when you're on, on that island, that 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 Dexter Island, one one misstep and it's it's over with. Just that's all it takes. One misstep. You have yes, game bro. twos rolling around yes, everywhere. Magic Gaming and Rim Runners, of course, halfway through theirs already. But Lakers Gaming, 76ers GC, just getting underway here in their game two. As Yo VC tries to get LA started off with the three, and he connects. He's so good. <laughs> it, it, like, this is a real. I, I know he had that great run back in season four playing center for the Warriors, but. I think this is the best ball Yo VC has ever played in the 2K League. He he is just fantastic. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I, I guess I, I can see him, see him in fives because, like I said, yeah, that 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 center season on the Warriors, he was phenomenal. So, but I will say in this mode, yeah, he's been really huge for them like, from a from a mental standpoint of vocal standpoint like but i say that's what makes it, it seem what they are i feel like their mental is just above and beyond every team in the league like they're, they're never stressed they're never panicking they, they know how to talk to each other like they communicate well on both ends i just i like this lakers team top to bottom i think maybe it stands out more too that he's playing at the lockdown in this right um, so that maybe that's why it feels like it's definitely more of an impact is crazy gets the chase down Ooh. Ooh. Ball was knocked out of play. Oh, I thought Dre was gonna go up with it. He doesn't DJ still sitting wide open They finally get it to him and he will knock down the three there from the right corner It's crazy how he passed up a, a dunk and they still got a wide open three Kai trying to shake Dre off. VC cuts on the inside. Now we'll get it back out to Kai. One on one here with Dre. The crossover move there on the inside. Big two hand slam coming out there from Shifty Kai. Got 18 16 now. Three here for Magic Gaming. Could put it away, but they'll just play it smart, low key, godlike. Going time for the two. You just look at the season Loki godlike had this uh, last year. One that he's having this year, too. I mean. Definitely, in terms of a big man perspective, easily the king of the 3v3 world. Yeah, way to listen. You know, 18, 16, maintain control, take that to same thing here. Unguardable? Oh, next turn. <laughs> Probably one of the three, but he's like, ah, I don't care. Yeah, 10 point, uh, 11 points last game, 10 points this game. Loki godlike. This time they pair it together. I think that's what's scary. If you go look at those two box scores and you look at the way that Magic Gaming can win games, you just had Unguardable and Jay Bull and combining for the 21 points. And then there you just had Loki Godlike and Unguardable with 10 points apiece as well. So where maybe put some emphasis on Jay Bull on the defensive end, they got to worry about Loki Godlike and they can just bounce off each other. 
Definitely probably our, our most dangerous off offensive team in the league. Yeah, how, how would you compare, right? They're obviously, the, the two teams that we're really looking out for, because that could be potential rematch for the winner finals, Lakers and Magic. I feel like the Lakers, you can probably rely on Kai kind of just taking over and dominating more, getting the others involved just a little bit. But I feel like Magic Gaming, in terms of how their whole offense is constructed, is made really to get one through three involved. Yeah, I feel like the way Jay Bullen and Loki got like shoot, especially Loki got like at times, he shoots at such a, a unconscious, I don't care rate. Like the shots he shoots with confidence are anywhere on the court. And that just shows how well he knows how to shoot the ball, but also mentally how good he goes he is. Like just like a lot of shots. We even he even hit a shot on break in game two. Right before we came back to make it 10-6. That was just top of the key. Nice little 50-50 in between that only really guards will shoot. And he shot it in Greenfield with confidence. So it was just like they just have a different kind of offensive reliability than I think Lakers game and have. But I would give Lakers game the edge on the defensive side. Well, to give everybody some insight at home, 76ers GC was the number 22 seed coming into this tournament, and here they are as one of the four teams left in the upper bracket. We we're about to catch up with Dre, and we talked to him about how his team got to this point. We definitely expected to be in this position. We're on a good run right now. A lot of good game plans that Jeff cooking up, and uh, we playing as a team right now. We clicking real well. We rotating well. We we basically just playing as a team and playing as one. This run, everybody individually had to make a play. Whether it's DJ getting a clutch stop or D or DJ getting a clutch rebound or me hitting a big three, I feel like everybody has to step up and make a big play for us to get this far in the tournament. And that's what's been happening so far, and it's been paying out. JT, how much credit do we give them to them making this run to having a popper out there on the floor? All of it. All of it. <laughs> yes. 99, I, Facts. I'm talking about Nets GC clinching percentage coming into tonight. 99.99999 99 and so on and so forth. Like, the inside was just, I don't know. It was just too many teams that I'll really say tried to really copy the heat check wave, and they didn't do it well. And if you don't like it, I'm sorry. No team in the league has above a 50 win percentage or 53, I'll oh, say no. to be safe, that used an inside more than a pop. That's special what Heat Check Games has been able to do with it. Every other team, we saw some, you know, glimpses of hope, more looking towards Hawkstown and GC, but that got quickly shut down. As it's 1917, it was the ill-advised lead from Dre last time out. That led to the score on the other end for LA. See how they respond? They feed it down to DT. He goes up with the left. Sheesh. And now a chance to go up 2 -0. run. Oh, famous, stop playing with me, bro. Like, like I'm talking about outside of y'all. Come on now. So it's crazy now with Kai. So trying to put the finishing touches here in this game, too. DJ goes for the reach, but now just going for the bump instead. And Kai has no answer Ooh. right now, so he'll go to Crazy. And good turn of speed come out there from Crazy. Rims in and out, so the shot clock will go back to 14. They go with Kai. Thought about the pull-up. As they are just throwing this ball around, scrambling. VC from the top of the oh, arc, no board. good. Crazy gets another rebound. This time they go to Kai. Under 10 seconds to work with on the right side. Screen hits. See Kai it. for three. No oh, good again. Missed. Jeez, don't this see that every day. That's when I thought the 76ers blew this game. They're about to win the game. Lit on the basket there for L.A. to try to close it out. They are making ooh, Philly ooh, work ooh. for it right now. Dre, head down. Kai can't get the contest. And 76ers GC finally get themselves on the board. Yeah, just a 8 for 15 type of game. That's not really what we typically see from Lakers game and, and they still only lost by two so that's a that's a scary sight it's a scary sight great defense there from DJ on that last possession he had a couple a uh, couple I guess attacks from Kai that he just kept shifting away forcing some pass outs wasn't letting him get to the rim for an easy dunk he's just he th this team is just so much better with this lineup than with the inside it's a bit it's a bit shocking that it took them so long to swap 
Well, we are in round two of our music artist bracket on social media. Check us out at NBA 2K League Daily to place your votes. Here are your new matchups. It's Drake versus Nicki Minaj. It's Lil Baby versus Gunna. Travis Scott versus Lil Uzi Vert. And Rod Wave versus Lil Yachty. Uh, and I feel for all of our Drake fans out there, but uh, you lost already. <laughs> Nicki Minaj's fan group has found our poll and uh, there's about 4,500 votes just for her. So shout out to the Nicki Minaj fan club for making an appearance. <laughs> it's fantastic stuff. It really is. Oh, man. You know, you know what, Derek? I will take that over our players botting the player of the week vote. All right. I will take that any day of the week. What do you mean? It's all legitimate. Oh, yeah. You know, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh I, I, yeah, Nicki well, Minaj is Nicki Minaj is gonna win it. Um, yeah. Now that Central C is gone, I have to choose a different alliance. Yeah, he got an unfortunate first round. Like, you got a pair of Rod Wave. What get flooded? <laughs> you know what? Give what me. Flooded? I'll go. Travis Scott. Travis Scott to what? Win the whole thing? I mean, he's not going to, but I'll just pick Travis Scott as my last standing favorite artist. I don't know. I don't listen to anybody there. The final should be Drake versus Rod Wave, but it won't be, but it should be. The only questionable one I had was in the first round was I don't think it's Nikki over Thug. I'm going to stand on that. I'm not moving. I'm not budging. I'm not wavering. <laughs> and then the Gunner versus Lil Dirk was very tough. I just would have picked Lil... Little dirty, but I think it's preference because neither one of them lately in the past few years have been missing. So it's preference. <laughs> Under, those. Underrated goat makes a good point. Can you imagine having Nicki Minaj if Taylor Swift was somewhere on this? Ooh. Now the Swifties versus the Barbs in the grand final. Uh -oh. That'd be that, dangerous. That wouldn't even be close. In which she's first, direction? She's the first. In the Swift direction, oh. she's the first billionaire off this music. I was going to say, I was like, wait, she's what, ridiculous. What, are we, what are we arguing here? <laughs> she's the first billionaire off just music. She's actually ridiculous. I don't know. The, 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 the fan bases Dream. of both of them, though, they will do anything to get a win. <laughs> That's very true. I hear you, but, but, but Taylor Swift will sell out any continent. I don't know if Nikki's doing that. Sean B. just put an arrow to himself and says Swifty. Join Harris in the Swifty conversation, John B. Marie. Hey, yo. Yes, sir. I still remember when I first heard, uh, what's the first hit she, she ever had? She just, she just makes pops, man. Like, it, it's, it's that simple. And it, then it's, tell, it's tell the people, every, Harris, the how you became a Kansas City Chiefs fan, specifically got a Travis whoa, Kelsey whoa, whoa, jersey whoa, because whoa, of it. Whoa, 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 I am no Kansas City <laughs> Chiefs fan, sir. You put that away, okay? I, I love me some Patty Mahomes. But the Chiefs as a franchise, no, sir. Okay, we we believe Patty one color Mahomes. over here. Oh, that I love, might be I love the Patty. first time I've ever heard him. What? Like that. Really? Oh, I only. Call I either him hear Patty Patrick Mahomes. or Pat Mahomes. Patty, Patty Mahomes. Never Patty heard that. Patty Mahomes. Wow. Okay. Well, there you go. Now you have his better name. His better name is Wicked Nasty Work. Yeah, I. Uh, if it makes you feel better, Harris, I don't watch football. And I have heard Patty Mahomes before. Magic sweep. And they get rim runners sent down to the lower side of the bracket now. So the dream community team that relies for them to, ch to championship Saturday. We'll see them play later tonight to see if they can get on forward. I'm telling you. What, what if we get three finals? Slam, switch, and playoffs. That's all Lakers magic game. Ooh. I'd be like happy for it at the same time. Like, damn, there's really just the, these are the two best the entire way. Like, at least there's consistency. I just want to see, can they break? I want to see, can a team do what nobody has done? All three. And I'm not talking about no steal. Or ticket. Maybe this could be the year to, to see them. I mean, if the Lakers win this, then yeah, like how, how much is really going to change within what the, the two weeks until we get to play? So we hit a, a league wide bye week. Well, you then have to steal the following week. 
and then we go to DC for in person. I think that's going to be the difference maker, JT. To be brutally honest with you, I think the in person play is going to maybe change up how we have perceived everything throughout this three v three season. Uh, that was the one thing I was about to say. That's the biggest difference is in person. In person. Oh my, does it start to roll down the leg like it never has. So in person, I don't care how good you are at home. In person will always be different. And the Lakers oh, throw wow. it down and they take it 21 to 14. So now they're <laughs> up two to one in the series. Do you see this box score? I did not see it actually. Oh, Kai like just had score. 19, seven of seven from the field, five of five from three. He's just so casual about it. He doesn't care. <laughs> Best in the world. It's yeah. unbelievable. It's, it's light work. That's just light work for Shifty Kai. The timing that he's on. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh yeah. See, I think that that's what I feel is like the difference, right? When we're talking about LA and Magic Gaming, how we just talked about like the fluidity of the Magic Gaming offense. I feel like the the Lakers can have moments like this. Like, don't get me wrong, Unguardable can, but uh, so often, right? Jay Bull and Loki God like are getting looks, but then you have games like this if you're Kai, which we even saw that when he was on the T Wolves last year. Like this, this is not uncommon for him to get up to points like this. Well, shout out to Shifty Kai, your your leader for the MVP race so far here in three versus three. And Lakers Gaming takes a 2-1 lead because they, they just love demoralizing teams. I mean, JT, is the only chance of this team to lose Magic Gaming? Like, is there anybody else who can truly consistently beat them? Right now, I don't think so. Because right now, I feel like it just comes down to who's the most polished on both ends of the floor in Magic Gaming have the second best defense in the league. Lakers gaming have the first best defense in the league. So it's just like, if you can't counter them and get them stops and make them really work on the defensive end, and if you can't have great decision-making as I've seen multiple teams do, just, oh, we have them right there. And then, oh, you know, we, we no longer have brain cells and the game gets real wonky. By the way, for those who may have seen on our alt channel, Magic Gaming, uh, making quick work of our community team rim runners, a 3-0 sweep is, man, this Orlando team, just an absolute wagon. It, it's funny because if Kai and Lakers Gaming didn't exist, I, I honestly, I think this Magic Gaming team would kind of just be waltzing through 3v3, but luckily for all of us at home, uh, both of these elite competitors have another team that can match them. It looks like we're going to get another magic lakers showdown one thing i want to point out about the magic and lakers from the last uh tournament during the slam open from the winners finals to the grand finals and then through the bracket reset they played 12 total games lakers gaming won seven of them magic gaming won five so there's their three series were really really close yeah i mean that you even just go back remember so vividly with all the matchups that they played like i mean even in the winner's final i feel like that's where the one that was like damn like la really came to play when we got to that grand final uh, i don't think anybody expected what we saw in that first series and honestly after the first series i was like damn this second series is about to be crazy and it was crazy in terms of lakers gaming just sweeping and just getting them right out of there so i i, I obviously i know it's easy to make a prediction like whoever's gonna win the winner's finals is, is gonna win the entire thing I still think that's going to be true. Like, I know how good Lakers gaming has been. I think if they get dropped down to the lower bracket and they end up making it back into the grand finals, I don't think that they'll be able to uh, get the bracket reset and win on top of that. Well, it's going to be a war, another one, and I can't wait to see it unless 76ers GC have something else to say. JT, any, any chance for Philly here? That's a thumbs down double. Two big thumbs down. Jeez, you almost did the uh, Victor Goyerquez, the uh, the Bane mask on there, but uh, not quite. Yeah, it's just, it's not personal. I promise. It's nothing personal. And if you're watching, you can't take it personal. Who has beat them? Their only L is in the grand finals of the slam. Who has beat them? So un until I'm shown, I'm done picking against them. Outside of Magic Game. Sorry, nothing personal. <laughs> We'll see Lakers Sixers on the other side of this quick commercial break. Don't go anywhere.
a five place. I turn up my phone for like five days. I show it, I know it's my time, lady. Jump started this from online, baby. Whatever we doing, it's live, ain't it? They envy, defended, they pride, ain't it? You say how they feeling in my face. I'm fluid, it's fire in my team. Stones in my ring and my eyes say She told me she do it if I say Want a milk ticket, I can see food Everything I do, I see it through She in a black dress, I can see it through She get a body type and they'll preview She like big brain, she got big dreams She doing big things, I'm like me too I can see me and you, I'm doing me boo I got reach too I Pull out the whip, it's honest to get Sun up the sun up, I'm running my funds off I'm having my phone, I'm a kid El Diablo look off messy And who going booting, I'm cooling on tip But back up, you're too close, I'm poor We're hitting, I'm sitting them over the fence Yeah Pure spirit, no evils, good riddance, they did it, I said it, I meant it, hunted on dash, running it fast, good riddance, pure spirit, no evils, good riddance, they did it, I said it, and I meant it, hunted on dash, giving it Oh, the way to the world, I weigh in the odds Been thinking about trading places with the stars Been wanting to pull it straight off of the lot I got my passport, I'm a long way From the block, headed to the top I see it clear through my ocular trend Said that they just copy, they not I say, oh, they tapping my phone I'm not one with the talk In it too deep, I ain't dropping the toss I'm loaded, she quoted, I'm really your boss She wanna leak cause I'm wetting them draws Big wave, rip tight, wrist bright Let me floss, wrist high, meal time Flip buns to me, breaking bread at a time Then it pull out the whip, it's honest to get Sun up the sun up, I'm running my funds up, I'm having my fun, I'm a kid. El Diablo look off messy and who going fooling, I'm pulling on 10. But back up, you're too close, I'm pool host, we're I'm sending them over the fence. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Pure spirit, yeah. no evils, yeah. good riddance, yeah. they dead, I said it, I meant it. Hunted on dash, revving it fast, good riddance, yeah. Yeah. pure spirit, yeah. no evils, yeah. good riddance. They dead, I said, and I meant it. Hunted on dash, revving it real fast. By entering somebody's space, you are a reflection of how much of this life they get to occupy at home. But I don't dare to, I'm too fragile, and for that I do apologize. Maybe someday we can work it out, but I'm afraid it's too late to try. Baby, I don't dare to love you, and you know the reason why. Don't you know I'm way too weak to swim? Can't you feel the waves come crashing in? Running out of safety nets, cause every night, every Our 815 schedule is set. Another chapter in the Bucks Gaming, T Wolves Gaming all time matchup. And another big one on the line. We've heard from League Ops that T Wolves Gaming still need to win this game over Bucks Gaming to officially clinch. So, <laughs> JT, another day. Another chance for Bucks Gaming to spoil T Wolves Gaming fun for the third year in a row. <laughs> so tough. So tough. So yes, range. I, I I take that back. We Harris and I did think that the Wolves clinched, but you're not done yet. So like if y'all get swept here, yeah. About that. About that clinching. Not saying y'all are uh, about to get swept. It's just saying a, a sweep is worst case. That's why I'm saying that. Lots of good hoops action coming at everybody here to close this one up potentially. 76ers CC could fight back to force that game five. But then the rest of the night, too, some barn burners going back down to the lower bracket. 
telling you, it's a lot of fight, a lot of grit. Have we seen us? Yeah, we have. How, how many sweeps have we seen? Oh. I know the run runners. We have seen three. Yes. We had the the T Wolves over the Jazz, the Celtics swept the Pistons, and of course the Magic over the Rim Runners too. Yeah. Rest of the night, I need y'all to put y'all hands up. Not Dirk and Harris, but like all all these sweeps. Put your hands up. Fight back. Fisticuffs. Okay. Eight seven as DT throws it down. Let's head to a Lakers gaming listening. It's coming. Come on. No threes. Not going this one if y'all call it. Where are you going? Oh, my fault. I'm Walk in. Right. Take 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 right. Hey, 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 guns, hey, hey, guns, I got the, hey, hey, guns, I got the, hey, hey, guns, I got the rebound. All right. I got the, I got the, come on now, my hype man, okay, come on, come on, come on, take it left, Kyle, take it left, Kyle, take it left, Kyle, got you, got you, got you, got you, got you, I know, oh, my, he throws it right away every time, all right, come down, guns, come down, guns, Hold it. I have no energy. Back, 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 back. Circle. Ah. Got it. Square. Dunk it. Shoot, shoot. Dunk it. Yeah, I'm yeah, it's badge. I'm on D stay on DT. Stay on DT. Hey, boy. Give me that. <laughs> hey, hey, no threes, no threes. Come on. I got your whole left. I got your whole left. You on DT, DT. Watch it. He's trying to get badge. Okay. Hit me. It's fine. Go up. Fine. Hey, Kyle. Oh, yeah. No threes. All right, all right, yeah, he can have that. He got it. Yeah. You should pop player. Yeah, I'm hitting up. Square. Hey. Cut guns. Cut guns. Damn. Yeah. Come here, uh, Chris. I got it. Dunk it. Okay. Hey, back. Shoot. 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 I have it. Shoot. Yeah. I got my good And there you have it. We officially have our repeat of our winner's final. With everybody having deja vu at home of the slam open. It will be Magic Gaming and Lakers Gaming playing tomorrow on Championship Saturday for a spot in the grand finals. Can anybody seriously beat Lakers Gaming this year? I don't know. They're going to have to go through almost a collapse because I don't know if you can beat them straight up. I, I don't know if it's possible to just go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them and beat them. You, you need a whole lot of prayer on your side, JT. 
I don't know about that one. I, I feel like who they play up next. If anybody can, it's them. As I, I think it'll be another Hell Series. What, how will it end? I don't know. But if it's one series that is my favorite and I never have a favorite series, it has to be Magic Gaming versus Lakers Gaming. It's just our two best teams undeniably going at it. Literally two juggernauts from top to bottom is really going to war. Well, Magic Gaming versus Lakers Gaming Part 4. They met in the Winners Finals last time, then they met again in the Grand Finals, and then they met again after the bracket reset. Lakers Gaming currently up 2-1 in their matchups, so can't wait to see Orlando take on LA. That won't be until tomorrow, so you guys are going to have to wait for one of the best series of the year, a proper championship Saturday match. We're coming up at 8-15, guys. Bucks Gaming against T-Wolves Gaming and Gen G versus Celtics crossover. I think it is fair to say that we have officially cut out all the fat off of this tournament and we now have some lean, mean fighting machines going on to close out the Switch Open. Bucks, T-Wolves, Gen G, Celtics, JT. Now that we have our series set, give me some predictions. Who you got? I have T-Wolves and Gen G. Dirk? Oh, give me T Wolves and Celtics. Ooh, I think this might be my Boston. like my first time picking against Gen G all year, but I, I was big on the Celtics. I remember yesterday I said that the Celtics were the best team that was left down here in the lower bracket, so I have to stick with it. Well, ever since they lost in round one, an unfortunate three-two loss to the Rim Runners, the Celtics have not dropped a game. 3-0 to the Wiz, 3-0 to Dukes, 3-0 to the Warriors, and 3-0 to the Pistons. They're 12-0 so far here in the lower bracket. So we'll see if Gen G can mar their perfect record. That's actually pretty stunning to look at, JT. I feel like they've been good, like Dirk said, but man, 12-0? That's that's something else. Yeah, they got that belt out. Like, how do Jeez. I tell you? 12-0 in the lower? And then that's ever since... Leche took that terrible shot in game three, which means ever since that terrible shot in game three and them dropping those two games to get reverse swept, they haven't lost since. Not lost a series, lost a game. That belt is out. And if they can do that against this team, we they might have, have to be my team. To, yeah, they, they, they might have to, have to be my team to come out this lower. Well, another chapter, I keep saying that, another edition of the Bucks Gaming T-Wolves rivalry is underway as Dossix gets a big block on the right-hand side. Celtics early up 2-0 over Gen G. That is insane. 12-0. 12-0. And I think if they win, no. If they win this, don't they pass Gen G? Maybe? No. Not quite. Yeah, they're short. Close, but short. Yeah, they're right there. They're short. Yeah. I feel attacked with how often you guys are saying the word short. <laughs> <laughs> you aren't short. To the standard of the world jt anything under six feet tall is considered short whoa who told you that true at all that's that's so false that, that's not the average middle what, height what at told all. me that that's i was some, a that's some uh, that's some stupid american macho what, stuff, what told know? me that jt was i was a once single man looking for love that's what that told me <laughs> <laughs> well guess what Dirk? you and i aren't uh six foot and we still found love so i think i think we're okay I thought you were six foot. Nah, 5'11 and a half, buddy. Oh, I can't okay. claim that six foot title. <laughs> he said, I can't claim that I six can't. foot. <laughs> I've, never, I've never broken it. I've never gone to the doctor and have them told me you're six foot tall. And it, it's, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to be one of those weird internet people that lie about their height. I'm not like that. I stand 10 toes on my height. <laughs> well, if you were standing on all 10 toes and maybe lifted your feet up a little bit, you would be six feet. I'm, six feet, oh. because I'm six feet in shoes and you guys see me in shoes all the time. So that's, there you go. Harris is so funny too. <laughs> when I hear Harris say things I say, it just really cracks me up. 
It, it, it just goes to show, JT, that there's some things that you can say and get away with that, that I just can't. I, I, I like towing that line. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, why is it so hot in this room? It's because we got a 6-6 game between the Teals and the Bucks. That's hot. Low scoring. Currently. Uh-oh, Bear. 44. Oh, that's a bugger. You go all the way down the dimes as he throws it down. The Bucks are now taking the two-point lead. Another rendition, as you mentioned, Harris, between the Bucks and the T. We'll be some, some different faces to, to amplify this and keep the history going between this rivalry. Tutak is the perfect addition to this rivalry. Just, just another high-flying, big-time shooter on the outside. I can't wait to see these two go toe-to-toe -to -toe in fives. Johnny Red versus Tutak. Yes, please. G give me five games of that. See? I told y'all. The only benefit to a 6-6 six -six is defense. Like, like I was like 90% confident on that, but once Dirk asked Tutak, or I need to really ask him what's like, like, I'm, it's, it's two names that really grind my gears and scuff my tims. Tutak or Tutak, Faze or Faiz. Like, I need to know the proper saying so I can all say it right for the rest of time. But the only b benefit to a 6-6, six, six, like, is the, the defense. But the rest, I mean, yeah, like you said, McGrady base, he's been using that the whole time. Even when he plays threes in retail, when he was playing threes in retail the last, like, real heavy the past, like, month. But, but he was right. He's been playing stage since 17. Like I said, I've, I've known him for a long time and he just he's always played on that 6-6 six, six. so why not stick to what you're comfortable at what you know how to move with that's all it's about is comfortability at the end of the day if you know your game you know your game a 13-12 as Dawsix has to take over two talks and take a shot from way downtown and gets it to fall purple green machine purple blinders purple guard up like, oh, force him somewhere. As, ooh, we got 18 17 here on our right side in game number one between Gen G and Boston. As he'll go back door there. That's Jolo throwing it down. And now we got 15 all on the left. That's what I'm talking about. 18 17. Take that two. I feel like sometimes, just listen to JT. I might not be the coach, but I could. Coach you to a victory. Just watch the show back. Listen to what I say. <laughs> Laughing is crazy. I'm just laughing because it's funny. I'm not oh. saying that you don't have the capabilities of it. Oh. I Become just, a yank. Uh, I just think you could do, you definitely could do better than some. Anyway, 22 19, Gen G, close out game number one. Oh. And, and the Celtics just got first, a loss. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's their, there's their first loss in lower, which is... That sounds so crazy to me. Like, your fifth round in lower is your first match loss. Not series loss. Your first match loss. If that's not turning up and rising to the occasion for your playoff spot, I don't know what is. Way to fight back Celtics crossover game and congrats to Clinton playoff. I'm proud. Dimes was open there on the flare up. I think he got a load up though on the jump shot, so that was a miss. That would have given them the one point lead. Uh, but now here are T Wolves Gaming. Can they close it out? Fair to Beast will take the three from the corner. Not there. And Dimes will be the one to get the rebound as they go quick to Dawsix. And there will be a foul. Bear, Bear is hilarious. Like with the game on the line, he goes back to being a point guard. He wants the ball and he's liable to do two things make an amazing play or shoot little crap like that right there i've noticed that on a lot of times in their their game winning scenarios they'll give bear the ball on either the left or right side as well this time two gets it and greens it and that's a game one victory there for the t-wolves the other set bear up on the left side of the right side allow him to go iso to try to work out but uh the past two times that we've seen that so far here tonight has not really gone their way
Well, T-Wolves Gaming, they'll take game one. Nice to see Minnesota attack. I thought you had something to say there, JT. I was, I was waiting. You had the, the, the motion. No? Do you have anything to say? Oh, yeah. Just to, just to you know, shake my head. Like, like it's okay. uh, it's more so of a... I feel like the worst thing that could have happened to Bear was him scoring 23 against that community team. Because now he'll just, like, like his confidence is <laughs> out my camera. You know, like, like... You, can't even reach it you cannot bring down bear after letting him do that and he was perfect no he believes he'll end everybody now i i'm i'm actually okay with him with him shooting the ball a lot i think i'm all right with it i think we see too often that a lot of these teams struggle on offense when they don't get the lock involved enough you know they, they, it's too much of the guard it's too much of just kickouts to the power forward like you, your lock has to be able to put that ball on the ground and, and make a play as Lorich uh, tries to get Jolo off the flare early, but I, I like how Bears been playing this year on lockdown. The, the Bear to Beast, a power forward experiment, not not my favorite. I didn't love that. Oh yeah, they they put that away as uh, as they yeah. knew they had to that was put tough. that away. That was done. So well, thanks. But yeah, him at lock. Yeah, I'm I'm a hundred percent like 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 he just makes he makes plays for him. Like they even do the little off ball thing. And when they do that, Bear has the ball. That's when literally being a point guard just helps 100% because it's knowing lanes, it's knowing timing, it's knowing windows, all of that. And Bear knows all of those as he's one of our better point guards in the 2K League. Heading over here to game two between Gen G and Celtics crossover gaming. Well, was Gen G taking that game number one? Uh, JT had Gen G, I had the Celtics. Harris, who did you have? I actually didn't make uh, a prediction because I was the one who asked. Uh, I will no, go Gen G. Hey, and I know the where he's going. I know where he's I'll going. Take the two, I'll take the two leaders. Oh, I thought, That's not oh, you I thought, thought I was going to take Boston. Yeah. Uh, you know, li listen, uh, the, 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 the laws of probability suggest that if you go 12 and 0, uh, at some point you're going to lose. And uh, yeah, that guy's on the other side. So I think this will go four or five, but. I think Gen G is just slightly better. And sometimes uh, these margins, man, that slight difference can mean everything in a series. So uh, I'm, I'm interested to see how the Celtics attack this challenge. Oh, you know that well, huh, Patriots, man? Hey, you know, we, we've done a lot of winning over, over my lifetime. Yeah, it must be nice. It is. <laughs> the <laughs> real team America's team. team. Thank you very much. Okay, yeah, put that away. Uh -huh. Yeah, my team hasn't won since I was potty trained. And I'm old, so that was a very long time ago. Mm -hmm. Look at you embracing it now. I like that. Game respect <laughs> I've game. always embraced it. I'm an I'm a, I'm a OG. A 7-7 on the right. Close game between Celtics Crossover Gaming and the Gen G Tigers. 5-0 start for Milwaukee on the left. I feel like he's just not shooting well this year. Tracy is just not effective from beyond the arc this year. Is he the one that you called out a clank for yesterday or a brick? A brick? Yeah, 100%. 100%. Wide open right corner, slightly late, smoked it. Getting a little sloppy over here on the right side. As Celtics crossover gaming do have the ball chance to take back the lead. As T Wolves Gaming continues to swing here defensively, they get the hand up there and trying to run. No, they don't actually. Nemo jumped himself out of the play, so that was an open shot for Jay Red. I got you, D. Looking it up right now. Go ahead, Harris. Excuse me. Sorry. Go ahead. I see the Discord message. Oh. <laughs> uh, we need to acknowledge to our public that no clinches are 100% confirmed until League Ops confirms it. That's why we call them the officially unofficial standings. We even put the asterisks in the top right-hand corner so you know that it's unofficial. Big red letters in the top of the screen. Oh, I always say unofficial, even though I've been right most, like, every time. I always say unofficial. D Crazy right now is shooting... 42.1% from three. And amongst power forwards, I would, I would have to look. That's probably bottom five. 42 is dead. <sighs> I 
Throwdown comes in there. I like the message from Hannah Gallo in the chat. When Gallo gave up an AAU basketball, I thought these days were over, but here we are. Let's go. Yeah, out there hooping, doing his thing. As Lecce lines up a shot from the top of the arc, and he will green it back to 12 12. <laughs> the box start. Yeah, so just take twos. Get the offense going. That's a good mini. Never mind. The lamp. I like that mini. <laughs> That's great defense by Jolo. That catch is so bad. Don't worry, D. I wasn't laughing at anything gameplay-wise. I was laughing at some stuff that always gets typed in our little Discord chat. <laughs> Doll six are shot from the left corner is good. 16 to 8. An emphatic game number two here coming out from Bucks Gaming. And Tutak trying to knock down the three. Cannot. Igimo will get the offense real and go straight to Bear to Beast. And he goes right to the paint and throws it down. Johnny Red with the takeover, working deep here with this one. And Bear to Beast right in his sights, and Bear to Beast is going to get the steal. Bear to Igimo. Igimo tries to wait out the jump. He does, and he throws it down right over top of J Red. And he's doing some pull ups on the rim. You have control. I'm not saying you can't take a three. Thank you. You have control. Maintain control. This is a pivotal series for your season. Pivotal. You have to make a run. So every possession matters, every game matters. And this is a bucket. They're sending to talk JT on the inside a lot. And if we go back to when T-Wolves Gaming had that skid, even with his gameplay, he was settling for twos, not really getting a lot of threes up. I think that's going to be one of the keys if you're one of these teams to try to shut down this squad. Easier said than done, always. Definitely because they're not really this heavy ball movement team. They're more so like. Oh my goodness. What a way to put it to rest there for Johnny Red in game two. He finishes with eight points. Doll six, though, leads all scores in the game with nine. That's a very weird box score. Shout out to Milwaukee for tying up our series at one apiece. Tracking the other series as well gen g tiger still taking on celtics crossover gaming we got a gen g game winner uh that is the there we go okay <laughs> we're showing the practice for a second is law rich giving it to good old gallo way downtown nice shot from gallo wide open that'll be made three for a 2-0 series lead as yeah guys like i said you, you win 12 games in a row the the gods of the probabilities aren't gonna love that okay we have an old term for that where i come from called regression to the mean to the mean so <laughs> let's see if something's crossover can bounce back fight back against the gen g tigers all right t wolves bucks any analysis what are you guys seeing out of those first two games jt i'll start with you the matchup between johnny and two talk one that we're definitely watching closely what have you seen between them two? I feel like I'm, I'm in that game two. I really seen two tag really go back to the old him, like not like looking for it to not getting up threes. Their, their off ball game wasn't really there. They just have to come out securing points. I feel like they're a really good team when they don't start slow, as most teams. But they're like a different kind of team when they don't start slow. They're one of the hardest teams to stop. Well, here we go. Game three. Gen G taking on Celtics crossover gaming. The Celtics got a win to stay alive, or it's going to be an easy sweep for probably the third best team that we got in the league so far here in 3v3. I would agree with that. I think that the one thing I'm going to look at for Gen G, if they're able to win this, and of course, win the next one, make it back to Championship Saturday, is still just uh, so vividly remember out of everything that we've seen from them. Just that one listening that we had when they, I think they're what, they're playing to go to the grand final was against Magic Gaming, I believe. 
and everything was just falling apart. They had no answer like so many other teams never have an answer for Magic Gaming. Uh, the one thing I've been trying to monitor each time we do these listen-ins, you know, how, how are things going? Have things been changing that from just a, even a composure standpoint? So far, it's all checked out. Uh, a sweep here, though, would be massive because, again, I, I felt like the Celtics were the best team as soon as they got popped down here. I actually picked against them once, once, once. I thought the I thought the Warriors would. I thought they figured it, it out. Nah. <laughs> oh, nice pass, pass back. Pass back. But oh, why oh. drop? We gotta hit those low rich. See a Celtics crossover game. We can capitalize on the missed open three there from Lorich. And as they go down to Tazo, good rotation out here from Genji. Crazy with the stop and go move. Resets it to Lecce. And the screen does connect, but Lorich bounces right back into the play. Lecce with his back to the basket has to get something up there to Tazo. And he has just to force something up. And Crazy on the other side, does he get the steal? He does not. And it's going to be Genji's ball. Down there. Fight. Yeah, game three on the left side series tied up 1-1. Too tough from way downtown strokes it. Damn. Sheesh. See? I'm watch how this game goes now. Just watch. He only attempted one three in that game number two. And I bet if you were to go look at probably every single team was gaming box score when he only attempts one three and doesn't make it, they probably come out on top with a loss as he gets fed here on the inside and throws it down. Nice little up down. Nice little up down. And for those at home that don't know what an up down is. Not sure I know what an up down is for. Well, yes, I do. It's when you fake like you're about to run back up out to the three point line, but you flip right back in. It usually is something that the back end of the pick and roll does, but right there it's an off ball up down. Well, everything going away at T-Wolves game, and he's got a chase down block there from Bear to talk. Pull up midi. He's got all nine points of T-Wolves gaming here in this game, number three. As the pick and roll action finds Dossix down low there for Milwaukee. One off take. Two talk working out here on Johnny Red. Oh my goodness. The route they just took there to the paint, but won't get the make. Thought that was going to be green there for a moment, but good recovery. That was, that was, a, that was a nifty movement coming out there for two times. Had me confused for a second. I did not expect him to get to the paint that easily. It definitely good defense by Johnny Red. I just, I feel like he could have took his time. I feel like he got the switch he wanted very early, very high stamina, very high uh, max adrenaline. I feel like he just, he could have, like right here, take your time. Take your time. The world is your oyster. Take your time. Take your time, young man, and he smoked it. Well, what was looking like it was going to go everything T-Wolves Gaming's way. The Bucks have been able to battle right back into it. Now 9-8. As Tutak will pull it back there on Dossix and just goes inside for the easy standing dunk. Uh, it's, it's like sometimes... They just have to make me look wrong. Like, look, look how perfect that play went. And, you know, yeah, he just smoked it. And they're on a, what, eight to three run? Bucks in. All does get down to Igimo. Fumbled it there for a second. Now it's back over here to Tutok. Now to Bear to Peace. Dimes in front of him. Well, big time vets in this league. Try to go Igim on the cut. Two talk passes down to Bear. Bear goes up with it. Oh, it's a snatch block by Dimes. Give me that. Oh, 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 oh. Give me that. You don't know that song? I know that song. Name it. I don't know about it. I've heard that song. Who, who sings it? Again, I, I don't know the name of the song. But oh, heard that song brother, before. you don't know it. I mean, look, JT, who, who, who sings that? Chris Brown. Well, maybe leave it. Oh, what? No. You just got cooked. <laughs> cooked? Cooked. Right into it. <laughs> he got you with the, he got you with the 2008. This. <laughs> got him. <laughs> yeah. 
That's great. Oh, Celtics really had control of this game. It was just 11 to 8. Now it's 17 to 13. That is a literal 9 to 2 run. Go from sweeping everybody to potentially getting swept. That's tough. But they clinch. That's the one pro. They clinch. Daw six, the one hand slam. We'll get uh, JT to do some karaoke when we head out to DC in a couple weeks. Oh. Oh, now. Yeah, okay. Need some JT to, to karaoke some ice spice. Of all people? Because yeah, you got to do the dance moves too. What? I got to shake it. <laughs> it's 15 to 11. What a resurgence here from Milwaukee and what was looking to be an ugly game three. And now they find themselves up six. That is literally a 15 to two run. Inexcusable. Literally inexcusable. Go back down to two tuck. This this time on the back door, 13 points. Oh, that's all. And you got 1917. Gen G can complete the sweep here on this possession. Lawrence, wide open shot. Miss. That's tough. Just a couple of easy ones in this game. He had the opening three uh, off the kick out there. He missed it. That one to take the series as well. As Lecce fading deep in the corner. Gal gets there for the contest, but Krizzy fighting down low had positioning as the Celtics really want a three here can they get it is the question let you with a pullback and they force it inside for the two so back to 1919 Lawrence couldn't get the shot to close it out before but can somebody here on Gen G just get any score to be able to take the series and yes they can courtesy of Jolo the Gen G Tigers a sweet Celtics crossover gaming they will advance forward. They will take on the 76ers GC in the lower round six. Number three C back. Gen G That's team. green. Ooh. Green man. Green man. Uh-oh. The former point guard will play badge. And sharp badge? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Dimes is getting ready to work off ball there. And there will be a foul. It's called on two top. Jay Red brings it back around the left side. The pull up, no good. Dimes though is gonna get there for the rebound. Now it's gonna be slapped away by Iggy Mo. Oh, he got plucked. Watch out. Tutok was happy to just go on the inside here to give them the one point lead. And he trusts his defense. I see play badge. I see sharp badge. That's bold. Oh, almost had it there on the reach. Like they get it out to dimes. Now is it Johnny Red? He pulls what? up with it again. It's another miss. Thirty percent covered. Uh, yeah, right. no, that's a that's a terrible shot. That shot makes no sense at all. Two top the game. elbow jumpers good and Teal's gaming. Get it back and look at that. Twenty three points. Every single point scored for oh Teal's gaming came way of two top. Yeah, I'm I'm sorry. I, I just watched J Red launch that game all by himself. Wow. It was Bear to Beast last week against the community team. It's Two Talk this week against Bucks Gaming. 23 points in a game as Minnesota takes a commanding 2 to 1 series lead. Wow. That's the kind of stuff that I'm used to seeing Johnny Red do. It's Two Talk uh, doing it on the other side. That 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 had to have been Bucks game to close out. Like you battling back, you you should have been able to solidify it. And usually when you see teams in this instance to where they should have had the close out, they don't get the close out. All signs kind of point to T Wolves gaming finishing this one off. Yeah, it was tough. I feel like watching that, I'm just like, okay, it's 2016. They'll be okay. They'll be fine. They have play take with sharp take. I didn't watch one off ball, like it just seemed like they had badges and didn't know what to do with them. But 
again shout out to two tag he just had a crazy game even though they started up 11 to 2 then bucks on on a 15 2 run that's what makes it like dirk said that game you have to close you start the game 11 to 2 you're getting flooded then you go on a 15 2 run and you fold like clean laundry inexcusable well it's difficult there for bucks gaming because they are just one game away from not only being out of the switch open being out of the playoffs altogether, being into the steel open adios bucks gaming if they drop this one here a weird year for bucks gaming the dimes going in and out of the lineup dosix having a not so dosix like shooting season even johnny red uh, jt in his first year as lead 3v3 guard a little a little underwhelming i think is a fair thing to say especially for somebody like him coming in with all the talent all the accolades had such a great off season but surprising i feel like he's another one of those guards that i feel like he's so used to a 6-6 six -six, like chris mcgrady like i'm not saying he should have followed in two tags footsteps but it, it's just like i feel like that's what he's really used to that's what he's accustomed to and i don't think he's ever even tried it so unsure well, we're gonna get game four up here in a second and after this series we'll have two more coming up firstly we will have 76ers gc taking on the gen g tigers and then we will have rim runners playing the winner of this series so might be uh might be sea wolves might be milwaukee we'll see how that goes we do got the bad bucks sweatshirt coming out there from dimes so maybe that'll give them the energy that they need jt are you moving off your prediction or you still got the tools the tools, the tools interesting man. uh yeah I'll, I'll i saw the tools you asked me that so much and you know my like you already know what i'm gonna say like you know i'm a i have to remain 10 toes well, you know, I, I just like confirming when you're right, you know, because because I don't know if you've noticed this week, JT, it, it hasn't been coming easy to you. It hasn't, even though tonight it's starting to pick back up. I, I think I'm like five and two now. That's not too bad. That's pretty yeah, good. I'm five and two. I'm five and two. So so if, if, if T will take this one, I'm six and two. So I like to think I'm back. Yeah, you know I'm saying. Well, as we get into this game four, Derek, let's talk a little bit about Iggy Mo. Had such an interesting start to his 2K League career. It was pretty eh to start his career, got benched. But since he's got put back in the lineup, he has been playing on a different level. Do you think that benching woke him up? Uh, do, do you think the benching had anything to do with it? What do you make of the Iggy Mo situation? Nah, I think it was just more of like, I, I feel like we would have seen it obviously a lot earlier with him in the lineup, just kind of getting accustomed to the way things had to, to be played. So I think it's just a product of him just putting in the time and effort. The, the unique thing about Iggy Mo, right? I know for a lot of power forwards, like when we think about Loki Godlike and, and Connor, the two best that we have in this, it's like, we, we, I feel like we look at the offensive side so much more because they're always hitting like the big shots to be able to close out games and the way that they work in the screens. For me, Iggy Mo as of late has been making some big time defensive plays too, which we haven't really called upon a lot from, from some power forwards. It could be either, you know, a game stealing steal. It could be some blocks to be able to get your team some momentum. That's been the one thing that I've been looking at at Iggy Mo probably more than anything. Can I? Can you see it? Yeah. That's tough. Nah, it just it, it just really looked like they kind of had a stop. And then Dalsix jumped at the mid and two tag shot it anyway and grinked the grinked the D Wade vintage esque pump fake bow and one. Bucks chance to tire take the lead here. Let's jump into a listening with Bucks Gaming. One stop. Uh, oh. I want to stay two tag. I'm, I'm not going to call the switch. I'm bear. Out. I'm bear. I went on one. Run up, Johnny. Maybe at it. You guys can call it out. I did. Come on, baby. Come on. Come, Come on. on. I got it. Come on. Got you again. Got you again. Come on. Good pass. Good pass. 
What was that? I don't even know. Watch me, six. Good shit. Bunch. Hit me, Mark. I just got bumped. Good. 15. <coughs> We got time. Uh, hit, I'm hitting you down to the off of six. So yeah, fuck right. I might still pop off of it. Back catch. Right, Come on. Back. Back. Oh. Go there, go there. I'm going. I'm trying to get yeah. there. You might miss. That's me. Yeah, he, he getting bad catches. Six. Six. Cut in. I'm tired. Come on. Pass, Johnny. Good shot. That's good. That's good. Back it, back it, back it, back it, back. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get. Don't, I'm right, I'm right, I'm right. don't let him dunk us to death here. Don't let him dunk us to death. We're about to get under. Eight. We're good. Look at six. I got him. See two. Good shot. Shot. Couple stops, couple stops, couple stops. Don't let him dunk us to death. I'm bare. Take him. Yep, I'm bare. He missed. He missed. Yeah, there's another six. Seven. Good hand. Nine. I think they're quite deep. They're not going to give enough to reach. Good shot, Johnny. I'm getting in there. Good shot. Good. Couple stops. Couple I'm stops. going Iggy. I'm going Iggy. I'm Iggy. Two, Two talks world. We are just living in it. And I think the one unique change of JT, I know that when we talked about two talk, he's like, the, the one thing he emphasized about his build is the steal. Uh, he has been popping the, the the defensive takeover every single time he's gotten it that I can remember. Honestly, I think this entire bracket play, usually, you know, so many of them just go over to the sharpshooter. So, in another another interesting change of kind of making his play style very unique compared to what we see from any other guard. I feel like it's uh, that's how I know he plays a lot in retail because that's a, a retail thing that I'm starting to see that's very popular because it's more so of a of a worst case thing. Like, so if I don't score here, I know I'm so much better on defense. I'm surprised he didn't shoot that three. But it's just like a more of a contingency plan no if the O is the way. Oh, there you go. Going to be. <laughs> Where to be he's finally got himself one. He's pretty cold in the one on one, so yeah. finally got the three. <laughs> you, you do it, you do it the six times to hit it the one time, you know? <laughs> All you need. 2013 as it looks like the t wolves could close it out see if they go to bear to beast and iso once more igimo will go through two talk following suit they do go over to bear this time on the left side they go to two talk mid-range jumper no good it's off the left side very early on the wide open and there's an open three for Dawson. six can he hit it he can i feel like he thought that would be a three and the catch was also a little funny, but more than anything, he thought that would be a three. The bear to beast again. Head down to the basket. This time gets bumped around. Iggy Mo doesn't take the shot, hesitates, and oh. still greens it. <laughs> Just a little Look shake in the head from Iggy Mo, but got it to go. His only attempt and only make from behind the arc. That's the shot I go to the steal on. A pump fake hesitation. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to shoot it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> hey, great, great, great. Hey, all you can do is tip your hat. Great shot, Iggy, bro. That is. Well, the dynamic rookie duo of Iggy Mo and Two Talk took them a couple of weeks, you know, about a month or so to really get cooking, but they are showing up and showing out at the right time. We're going to hit a quick commercial break. We got one more round of games when we come back. Cause you're 
back to the switch open checking out our finals bracket it is set magic gaming lakers gaming the upper finals sixers gen g rim runners t wolves gaming in our lower round six that'll set up a fun matchup tomorrow night to see who will face off in the lower finals against the loser of magic gaming and lakers gaming so still a couple of series to go but championship saturday is uh Oh boy, it is setting up to be one of the best that we've had in a long time. But for now, here at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, Sixers Gen G, Rim Runners T Wolves. As I bring Dirk and JT back in, gentlemen, we got we got two hitters here to close out the night. Dirk, I'm coming to you first. Uh, this Gen G team, despite losing, uh, they just kind of seem like their usual selves. You know, they fell to Rim Runners. It was a bit of a struggle. Thankfully, they don't have to play them again until maybe next round. But Outside of that series, it's been business as usual for the Tigers. That's why it was so shocking when that actually ended up happening for Gen G. Um, I, I know that it was the question going into it was, okay, this is the, the the true test for rim runners. Like we can really get a feel of where they're gonna be at. Then they end up winning that. And it's like, okay, well you just beat one boss, but now you walk into the final boss, actually the one before the final boss. Still haven't played Lakers gaming yet, but 
you go out there magic game you just do their thing with ease so this is why this is series is going to be so interesting right because for the t wolves it's been so hard to gauge how good truly are t wolves gaming they've been a middle of the pack team the entirety of the year and rim runners record shows that when they have been playing these middle of the pack teams they have been coming out on top with wins gen g on the other side it, it's i i don't think that they themselves are like, we shouldn't be down in this spot. We should have still been up top fighting, maybe get bumped down here just a little bit later. But yeah, it, it's it's business as usual. This is where we started to see Gen G gather a lot of momentum in the slam. And then when it got down to it, when it came to try to get back up into the upper bracket to go to the grand finals, that's when we saw a little collapse from Gen G. It's probably the, the worst that we've seen them all year, just even from like a, a mental and calm standpoint. So look to see if they can correct that. But I think. For, for Rim Runners and Gen.G, I think these are honestly very winnable matchups. Yeah, I would agree. JT, over to you for the Rim Runners T Wolves gaming matchup. A lot of the line here for both of these teams, the T Wolves trying to help out their own playoff seating here. But for Rim Runners, it's just about playing against these elite 2K League teams, uh, getting as much experience as you can before we get to the playoffs. Not that this is a must win because they're, they're already in. But for Rim Runners, just another great, great exper uh, experience moment for them. I can agree. Like, to really go up against one of our playoff teams more than likely or unofficially or confirmed. Who knows? I don't at this point. But I feel like this is great experience for them, especially it's a big answer back game for them because Magic Gaming did handle them pretty easily. It wasn't this series that's like, oh, you know, Rim Runners against Gen G and Rim Runners against Magic Gaming. Two and three seeds, completely different series. So, and that's why I was rocking in my chair for, for the first time all year, because this is one prediction I'm just struggling with. Rim Runners, T Wolves, I don't know. I'll come up with it right before the first shot is taken, but I have Gen G over Sixers, but Rim Runners, T Wolves, I just, I don't know. I do not know. I haven't made a prediction tonight. I'm, I'm going to go with T-Wolves Gaming, man. Tutak, he's cooking. He, he's moving a couple of, you know, about three series in a row they're going to be playing. So when, you, when you're when you on a roll like that and you're playing 2K, it is hard to get thrown off your rhythm. But let's go to the other matchup first. Our starting lineups, Dre, DJ, and DT taking on Gallo, Larich, and Jolo. I feel like the Sixers and Gen G have played a whole lot over the past couple of years. And here they go again, a shot at playing on championship Saturday on the line. It's the Sixers. It's Gen G. Let's get it. It's 2-2 two -two here early in this one. G uh, Harris, can we, can we, it's official the, the playoff teams now, right? Like word yes. and everything. It's no we longer have our unofficial. 10 teams. Yes. Uh, we have our 15 2K League teams going to the steel. Those are locked in. We have our 10 2K League playoff teams and our two community teams uh rim runners and dribble gods so t wolves sixers both are in but for bucks gaming and the rest we'll see in two weeks with the steel steel is gonna be wild it is i'm very excited yeah me too i'll get to watch the i'll get to watch the first day in my bed under my cover on my silk sheets just yelling at the TV. <laughs> it was single elimination too, which makes it even crazier. I love it. It, it, it. Honestly, that's what that's what saves the tournament. If that tournament was double elimination and we had to see those teams get knocked out twice, like some of those teams don't deserve to play two more series. You know what I mean? <laughs> they didn't put enough effort in during the year, so they shouldn't get another chance then, but Hey, if you can make a run through the steel, just like B5 did, you can have a chance uh, to lose to Pistons GT in round one. <laughs> that was a crazy first round matchup for them. And somehow the sick, the, somehow the Pistons were the three seed in the West <laughs> coming into the playoffs. So poor Gen G. Oh no, they were the four seed. Excuse me, they were the four seed. That's just sad. It was that I think it had to have been that switch open run where they got eliminated. They actually the exact same round they got eliminated this time round as well. That probably yeah. hindered that quite a bit. Poor Blazers. Thirteen to seven with game one well underway. Let's head to our first listen in here in this matchup with Gen G. Up, up. 
If you got body bump, I'm gonna let you go. Wait. Oh. Careful. We good, we good. He pushed you last good. second. Get out. Oh, oh law. Shoot that bitch. Down, boy. Up for it. Fuck 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 it. I'm showing for you. I'm not getting no threes. I'm up on the crowd. I'm getting back. I'm getting back. I'm getting back. I'm getting back. I'm back. Hell no. Hell no. You got nothing. Trust me. I'm going up. I'm going up. I'm going up. I'm going up. Get the rebound. Come on. I'm here. Hold on. You open. Oh my god, Jolo. I'm back. I'm back. I got DT. I got DT. I got DT. That's a good shot. Good shot, Jolo. No threes, y'all. No threes. Yeah. We don't got a zone, it's just no three. DJ. Yeah. You low. That's I try and bait him. We got big lead right here. Uh -huh. One bucket at a time. Trying to hit him. I'm going right. Good shit. You definitely have the shot, but good shit. Yeah, I could have shot it. I could have shot it. Mm -hmm. I think he's going to get a better jump. It's cool. It's cool. We get that. Wow. Up three's left. Stay. Yeah. You're right, though. You're right. You're right. You're right. I'm, I'm left. Middle, I'm though. left. No, I'm, I'm not following this guy. Okay, okay. That's fine. That's fine. Ah, I heard you too late. Again? I could have I could have went. No, no, no. Anything but, here? They're going to play grass too. Come here, Okay. Go top. Go top. Got you. Come on, Jolo, game him. I'm back, I'm back. Get back, right, right, right. Get back. Stay right, stay right, stay right. I'm left, I'm left. Finish. Good job, good job. Ooh, you're good. good you're going to make up for it. You got this, right in. Let them. There it is, game. Oh, Yo! Oh, good you're good, you're good, come on. I'm left, I'm left, I'm left. I'm right, right. Fuck. I got it. Oh my you God. got it back. Good D. You, you made up for it. Back. Let's go. Go through law. You again. You yeah. got some chart bags. Come here, Dola. Go, 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 go. He's plugged me. Plugged you. I'm here right above you. Stay there. Stay there. Stay middle. Stay middle. Stay uh, Come on. Rent some. We're in. Yeah, yeah that's me. You good. You good. You good. Careful. Try to hit him. I'm back. Fuck that. Shot. Off your back. Oh, Gotta get a stop here. Going up. I'm going for one. Bad. Try to find a three. If we don't have it, take two. Y'all both got start bad. Go for it. I don't give a fuck. Hit him. That's crazy, oh, bro. That was so crazy. Shot the quick stop, my nigga. Stop. I tried. Get back, get back, get back. No threes, no threes. I'm right, bro. DJ. It's a bucket. Give me a bucket. Oh hey, listen, we gotta play. Dummy, bro. Huh. We, we gotta play nah, straight up. We can't give up no points. We gotta get a stop. It's not no threes. Yeah, I see none of the pain. I'm going, bro. Low, low, low. Uh, Lonely, this nigga. Lonely, this nigga. You good, you good? Uh, he missed. Oh, missed. Ah, fucking god, bro. No way. Well, I don't know how it happened, but it did. Gen G <laughs> ended up almost, I feel like, selling that game, JT. Almost like selling that game. All three of them need jail time. That is insane. <laughs> so both like, that is insane. Like, I seen Jolo smoke two wide open threes, and then Gallo shot a fader from my grandma house in Chicago, and I'm in L.A. Like, they literally just, that might have been the biggest sale of the year. Oh, wait, what was what was the, oh, we had one game earlier this year that was terrible. Wasn't a team up, like, 18 to 6 or something, and they lost? Something crazy. Was it about last year? No, this year. We, we had some, we had one or two crazy comebacks this year. I oh, forget. yeah. I, I didn't watch it. I would have <laughs> lost my mind. I didn't watch it. It, it had to be not on, not on the main screen. Oh my goodness. I'm, I'm, I'm so stunned because Genji really just gave them life. Like for 95% of the game, they were the better team. They were the better team and they just gave them life. So now I really need to see one, how does Genji bounce back? And two, does that put a battery pack into 76ers GC's back? 
and give them crazy momentum the rest of the series because it literally got stomped. Like, that series is supposed to go just... Yeah, I... Oh, man. That's oh. insane. Yeah, wrong greed, mate. That's tough. Bear to Beast will tie it. 20 -20. We'll see if the Remrunners can take game number one here. Shifty. Two talk in front of him with the defensive takeover. They go to the corner of the swags to catch. Igimo sleeping down on the low block, and Remrunners take game one. Dad! Igimo can't believe it. He's like, I didn't think I sagged off of him that far, but I can't give a shooter like Swags or Turn that much space. Nice win in game one for the rim runners, JT. Look at this team go. He threw that. Huh. Hey, you know, that, that was, I made <laughs> it, I made it like, right. Uh, you know, when you throw a little, that, uh, it's like a little dribble, dribble. Huh. I'm so, uh, I know, I, I know of the, uh, the, the Magic Johnson. <laughs> I know that one. No, 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 no. It's, like, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a, huh. But um, I, that was my prediction to win. Well, like I'm just like, look, this Rim Runners team. I feel like they have to show us history. They have to have an in historical moment. They have to be the first community team in three years to make championships Saturday. And I think we're gonna see that. As far as this Gen G team, I feel like I've been there, one of their biggest fans all year. I definitely won't say number one because Mama Gallo doesn't miss a damn play never so shout out to her a hundred percent because she <laughs> is ride or die she is in here every play let's get into game two genji versus the sixers philly up by one or sorry game uh, up by one in the series nice three to start it off there for 76ers gc Good to see them. I mean, despite some things getting handed to them, still be able to go out there, capitalize, and finish it off. <laughs> I wonder if Gallo actually tried to shoot that fade. As Trey from downtown can't connect there on that one. Up oh, freebie. Never mind. That pass was horrible. Like, it just took, it took forever. And they get it back to Gallo as he gets the two to go. Yeah, it was uh, the, the open misses end up piling up. The shot there from Gallo, while I appreciate the effort to making something like that, I mean, you, you had the game sealed. You could have played it so smart just to be able to get the close out, which is, it, I think the reason we're talking about it so much too is that we we haven't seen lapses like that from Gen G really at all this year when they've been playing. And that's actually what 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 is what made it so frustrating because that was such a last year Gen G move. Like, like they've shown me they know how to close with the best of them all year. And that's what it really came down to. Just like, it was just, it was like a, you know, I, I won't use that exactly, but I was just disappointed. We got former head coach of Pistons GT in the chat, Coach Duan. Um, I've been keeping up with their little series. Asar Thompson has officially taken his title as coach. <laughs> That's why he said former coach. I was yeah. like, wait, what? <laughs> he, got, he got kicked out of the practice room. He got his bobblehead thrown in the garbage. He took the controller from Beast's move and says, this is what you have to do. So it has officially been the Asar Thompson takeover for Pistons GT. That guy is an insane athlete and basketball player. Very excited to see him over the next couple of years. Him and his brother. I was about to say, yeah, him and his brother. But let me say this, since the Star Thompson came into the locker room, Pistons GT did not look the same. <laughs> oh, God, man. Law Rich, now's your time. Make up. You've been smoking a couple key opens. My, my favorite part about the whole video that they posted was Connor at the very end just saying, I, I think Asar just needs to, oh, my goodness, Law Rich with the chase down. He said, I think Asar just needs to stick to basketball. <laughs> <laughs> That wasn't gold team. Like Lawrence was the was the second jump there. Like Jolo tried and he missed and they gave it to Lawrence. And it still wasn't gold team. But that scooper stayed in the air. Jolo get it back over to Gallo. All squared off at nine. And they feed Jolo down low. As he goes up with a one-handed slam. Puts him back up by two. These games are always so tense when you know guys who can typically get up threes and bunches. 
Just trade twos back and forth. As there was a three-point attempt to miss slightly late. Come out there from DJ. That's a big miss. That's a big miss. But yeah, it, it's just so late in the year. Like, so late in the tournament. Like, this is one of your, your second to last chance to really make money. And you're in the lower. So it's not like... You know, we lose this series. We'll have another chance, guys. No, you lose. You're gone. You're done, buddy. Dre goes over to DT. They'll get it back over to Dre. Trying to work off ball. Just getting bumped around. Tries to go right back down into the paint. DJ has to put something up. DT gets the worm. And so look at a second chance at this one. Dre, back door, throw down. Man. That's elite from DT. The the rebound, the vision, wonderful. Arm is very RNG, but the rest, yeah, hundred percent. I, I RNG, I I can't do it like that. Yes, you can. I, I don't know about that. Yes, I don't know, JT. I played, I, don't with, I, I played a I lot know. with Harris at the start of this year. I don't know, man. I I can I, I can show you. Yes, you can. Trust me. Trust me. I don't think JT is boxing me out. I think I'm counteracting it. I, you yeah. sound so crazy. I'm, I'm going to take Derek in a rebounding battle. You sound literally insane. I mean, dude, he was... Derek, what were you, like, top five in rebounds per game during the combine? Yes. JT, I know you can rebound as a point guard, but it's a different ball game down there with the big boys. Bro, what? Hey, game can respect game, JT. And I, I got no, you I'm not. Position. I'm not saying you can't, but I'm not. I. It's not ten dudes in this league who I think rebound better than me. I'm sorry. Right now, now, better at center, of course. Yes, better at center, of course. Of course, I'm not a better center than most of them. But just specifically rebounding, I got my money on me. Just JT, rebounding. If you want to be a top ten point guard in the league of rebounding, you go right ahead. <laughs> I will take that away from you. You can have that. How about that? You can have that one. Yeah, top 10 is too many people. But, you know, go off. You got 19, Wait, 15. Too <laughs> Gen G can close it out the next time they get the ball. Nice three coming out there from DT. As Gallo, ooh, DJ almost got the knock away there. As Gallo pulls it ooh. back. Good step there by Dre, though. Able to break the play just for a moment. It's with Lawrence. James. Back He's to Gallo. Could have had the shot. Doesn't take it. Where am I going? Where am I going? Excuse to the me. middle. Gallo from downtown gets it to fall. And we got ourselves a series now. We're tied up 1 1. I'm surprised he actually could still green that. Like, he dribbled a lot that play. But. Good shot by Gallo. He's been he's been the green machine this year. Been fun to watch. Rim runners T Wolves Gaming back over here. Three point lead for the community team. And a 1-0 series lead as Tutak gets the slam. Yeah, we jumped over here in that game number one. Rim runners was in firm control, having the lead for a majority of the game, came out on top of the win. Now we're seeing that same thing here in game two. As Bear to Beast able to get himself back into the mix. And now Swags will reset to Shifty. Quickster on the flare up. Trying to get an angle there on Iggy Mo. Nothing though. Gets bumped. Shifty. Two talk in front of him. Has to put something up. Takes the three. Can't get it to fall. Good rebounding though. Coming out there from Quickster. That's a second of the game. He's really been pivotal to this team's success. Like how good Quickster has been. Like he's been phenomenal almost all year long as he I was about to say as he greens that but yeah he's just been he's been phenomenal at the lockdown position for rim runners Fourteen, thirteen. now teals are taking the lead yeah one of my intentions crazy yuck
<laughs> we're, we're a bunch of hooligans, man. That's, that's all I gotta say. <laughs> Derek, Derek, we, we've lost Derek. We've lost Derek, everybody. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> Iggy Bo hits the three as Dirk tries to collect himself. I don't know if it's going to happen before the end of the game. That's a big shot if you could green it. Oh, that's a dog shot. Now they just have to not give up a three. You have to not give up a three here. Oh, that. <laughs> Do we see, still, see, Dirk, he had Dirk like, like, like right there. We lost Dirk officially, man. <laughs> right there, he has to make sure he stays on that corner. Like him not guarding that corner, he can't. I don't oh. know if I like that oh shot. Oh my goodness! Hey, wow. JT, shut your mouth. <laughs> this is said, JT, shut your mouth. That's Unbelievable. a shot for real. <sighs> but like right here, if they look for, for that again. And they do. Over the win! Tutak gets it done. 23 21, 10 points for Tutak. Nice shot there from the number two overall pick, and our series is tied. But now it's time for NBA 2K League Snacks presented by Chips Ahoy, featuring some of the best gameplay we saw last night, served up in a delicious bite sized highlight video just for you. Check it out. Paul PC just gets left in the dust. Vandy again. Vandy connects once more. Perfect in the game. Dawson give them another chance at it. No, yeah. Johnny Red again. That one's off. And JT's over oh, okay, seven. Score you're season. This pump fake cut out there for Miami. Justin off ball work. It's the green. Oh, yeah. let's yeah. the pullback. There we go. They take game three. Shift eight. Oh, Some wow. yeah. The three. The green. Yeah. For and the rim runners now go up 2-1. Oh, we're having fun here in the NBA 2K League as I wipe a tear. Out of my eye, rim runners <laughs> taking on T-Wolves Gaming. Tutak ties up the series at one apiece. We're also tied up between Gen G and 76ers GC. Been a fun night so far, JT. Any players specifically that has stuck out to you so far tonight? Any Anybody under the radar you're keeping your eye on? Under the radar, no, but I feel like out of the players who are left tonight that we still current series, it has to be two tack. I feel like he's just had pivotal games 19 point games with no misses, 23 point games, shooting 80%. Like he's just had pivotal, like, can't teach that one two. You got to show me games, and he's done that tonight. Well, it's been a really fun night so far across the NBA 2K League. Again, we are tied up with our last two series of the night. Tomorrow is Championship Saturday. We're going to have a bunch of series for you guys. It's going to be a little bit earlier than usual. Tomorrow we tip off action at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. 3 p.m. Eastern Time will be our broadcast start time tomorrow. But for now, we got to finish off these games tonight. Our series is tied one apiece. Sixers Gen G. We get the early ones in tomorrow. <clears throat> as oh, yeah. I have now recovered from the giggles <laughs> and I am ready to work again <laughs> as Gallo misses a shot and a little a little a little too early but it's okay DJ are trying to get the post work going early instead they'll finally get it over to Dre as he pulls it back DJ will get it back to Dre once more under five seconds here to work with on the shot clock Dre fading away, can't get a DT. Just palms that one out of the air. The big boy. It's DJ back over to Dre, takes another three, can't connect on that one. And finally, Gen G get the rebound courtesy of Jolo. One thing I'll say, I'm looking forward to, once I, I move to Houston, I don't have to worry about being three hours behind it anymore. It's, it's Houston Central time. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's only a few cities, I think, in Texas that do Eastern. Yep. But Houston's not one of them. One thing, though, is that the the Pacific time zone will always be undefeated. People say Eastern time zone is the best. And I, it's just I don't know. Being being an hour ahead of everybody just does not sit right. Yeah, come here. 
He smoked it. Oh, my that's very, a great step up. My very unpopular opinion is that the East Coast time zone is the best time zone. As somebody who has lived in all, in three of the four time Why? zones of America, East Coast time zone is the best. You're the, you're the perfect person really? to ask because you've experienced yeah. all three. So why? Yeah. Um, well, first of all, all other time is basically based off of the East Coast, and America is a very East Coast biased uh, country, so everything is kind of dictated by the East Coast anyway. Plus, the only advantage that the West Coast has from a time perspective is during football season when you get to watch football games at 10, uh, 10 a.m. Besides that, not many real advantages. You're just, you're just three hours later on everything else. Hmm. Um, I mean, that's not necessarily an advantage if you like to sleep. Like, yeah, but like I, I still get the same amount of sleep that you do. <laughs> I just I just wake up three hours earlier. The difference is though, when we're done working, it's what like seven o'clock, six o'clock for JT. That, that's oh, just yeah. weird. Six I don't know seven, what I would do with myself if I kept getting off work that early. <laughs> I go to like, bed. Like, like right now, it's six twenty three. That's yeah, weird. See. <laughs> I can't do it. That's a big shot, two tech. I will admit, again, I know it is an unpopular opinion that the East Coast time zone is the best. I know that people have very strong opinions about this, but, yeah. DJ will take the three. That's a line driving out. DT with another offensive rebound. 6-5 here on the left side as it's palmed by Jolo. Wow. Oh, famous. That's what I, I meant. It's two counties in Texas that have mountain time. I was going the wrong way. I didn't mean eastern. I meant, like, back towards my direction. That's that's my era. El Paso and Hudspeth, they have mountain time. That's what I mean. That should just tell you how big Texas is. It literally spans two time zones. <laughs> I just thought about it. I've lived there every time zone. Nice. That's a big steal. Oh, DT's going crazy right here. This three to cap it all off ah, would set the roof yeah, off this place, and he can't get it. He's had big offensive that's rebounds. Just had the steal right there. That three would have been nuts. As Gallo will pull this one back, that'll make mommy Ooh. proud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm still debating it, famous. I know it has to be August though, because my lease is over in August. So I have to decide. We have to talk about it. Look at Lawrence's face. Just gonna let that one simmer. Just gonna let that one simmer. Yeah. <laughs> what happened? Uh, d yeah, Dirk. Never mind. Dirk's <laughs> got it. We'll get. I, back I, I was wondering why it got so quiet. Like, I'm like, did I interrupt somebody or? Uh, see, did it's the, a did the mommy thing spin the block? <laughs> see, people will come in and not see the Twitch chat for the past like ten minutes and be like, what? Why did Dirk even say that? <laughs> but for the people that are in here that have been in here, they get it. Oh yeah, trust me. I, I, John B. Marine, you are my dog. Never again. John's my favorite oh, mod, man. Oh no, I, I, I never but, said he's a very yeah. dope individual. Just no more mommy. Or can you imagine a, like a March Madness style bracket with Chen TV on one side and John B. Marine on the other? Oh man, wow, that would be fun. Ooh, that would be fun. Chen TV. That's a throwback. Take it back with that. That is one. a throwback. Oh man. The mystery right of Chen TV. Right here. You just need a two. 14, 14, Ooh. 17, 16. They're on the right side. As DT will line up a shot this time from the top of the arc. Greens it. And a chance for the T-Wolves to take the lead here in their game three. I'm running. Just need a two there. That was two, three hungry. Gallo on the left side will get the green. Ties it up at 17. Two talk with uh -oh. it. We'll get it over to Bear to Beast. And Bear trying to just work out one on one on Shifty, but he is bumping him all across the court, and Bear to Beast finds a lane. Game point for both. Uh oh. Shifty of the rim runners with the ball in hand. Does have Igimo in front. Trying to get the switch. Nope. Just goes straight down to Swags. Slip the screen. 19 18, 19 17 on the left. Foul by Quickster on the right side. 
Gallo still working out here on the left side with Dre in front of him. He wants a three. He takes oh, wow. the three. Can he green the three? He can! 2019! The, the, Very irresponsible reach there, but go ahead, Harris. I would oh, say the Gallo right. year three explosion is just an absolute thing of beauty. He, he is just disgusting. And there's a shot from the corner. That one comes from DJ. It's a miss, 29%. DT will stop the play. And Rimrunner's on the right side. Wow. End up taking game three, 22 to 18. See, this is what I get, JT, for making a prediction. This is why, this is why when I'm in the host chair, I shouldn't do it. I jinx teams. It's my fault. And Don't Jolo worry, thought... to close it out, knocks it down. And the Gen G Tigers, they'll take control of the series. Now up 2-1. Crazy. Crazy. Because this should be a sweep. This should be the end of the series. But, but, alas, but if they close out, you know, it doesn't matter. You made up for it. It is not the end of the series. It is indeed just game the end of game three. Headed into game four. We're going to head to a quick commercial break. We'll close out both of these series when we come back. Go, go. for the ability to be able to continue to work on me. I'm thankful for inner peace and prosperity. Girl, I realize all I need is you. I can never get enough. Say she on way down. Yeah. Always down to have a good time. What are you gonna say now? Huh? When they see us running this town. Is it how you move? How you smile? How you captivate everything? How the body move? Pretty eyes, got it all. You're killing the scene. I want you to be mine. Girl, you got everything I need. And I want you. What you wanna do? Let me give you the moon, yeah. Shine brighter than the stars combined. Let me give you the moon, yeah. You and I, we got the stars aligned. Give you the moon. Night is younger, we got plans for a show. Buckle up and up we go. Reaching for the sky now. Yeah. See the world in my rear view now. How you smile, how you captivate everything, how the body move, pretty eyes, got it all, you killing the scene. I want you to be mine, girl, you got everything I need, and I want you, what you want to do? Let me give you the moon, yeah, shine brighter than the stars combined. The stars align. On me, yeah. No escaping from my mind, but low key. You know that you one of a kind wanna show me, baby, baby. The things you feel do with that body, yo. Show up everywhere that I be, yo. All you wanna do is party, yo. I know, yeah. I, know. I know. You are the type that they warn me about, I am. Yeah. Yeah. When I'm with you, all the wrong feels alright, I am. Yeah. She the real thing, but 
she cold hearted like Greenland. Church girl moving like a queen pen. Eh, nye ma tengwe ulo, nye ma tengwe ulo. Mufa nye ma tengwe ulo, nye ma tengwe ulo. She said let me know when you ready for me, ready for me, ready for me. She said let me know when you ready for me, ready for me, ready for me. Yeah, nye ma tengwe ulo, nye ma tengwe ulo. Hey, fashionably laid on purpose, all eyes on you. Fashionably laid. Wind up on the place, not all of the guys want you. Welcome back. Our final two series of the night here. Friday at the NBA 2K League. T Wolves gaming down 2 1 to Rim Runners on your right. And Gen G up to one on your left. All setting up a great championship Saturday. Coming up tomorrow, it's the T Wolves take a commanding nine point lead here in game four. Ah, could see a game five. They're in that one if the T Wolves can try to hold on. And over here, game four just got started. First possession coming from Gen G. Is going to be a successful one as Gallo throws it down. It's a statement game four by the Wolves. Definitely a statement game four, but you know, all of, it'll be all about if they could come back out like this in game five, if they can close this game. With 17-8, I highly doubt they don't, but it'll all be about this game five because this game was pretty quick. He gets plucked, yeah. I was gonna say, we just saw in the previous series uh, when they played the Bucks that they, what, the Bucks went on a, is it 10 to two run? Something crazy, maybe even more than that? Uh, if I remember correctly, but 1918, it, it, it should be safe. 15 to 2. 15 to. Yeah, they see, it makes it even worse than what I yeah, said. They, they, they were up 11 to 2, and next thing I knew, the score was 17 to 13. Fox play. Dre will bring it out here. That'll be a 2. If it does drop, DT has been doing a phenomenal job with the offensive rebounds. I mean, it, DT's rebounding on the offensive end is, is really giving glimpses of like when we saw Nets GC at their peak and Steve's just going down there every single time and grabbing every rebound. He's beating out inside at one point. How many um, do you think we see? How many insides over under in the steal, would you say? Zero. Really? You think everyone's going to go away from it? It, it? it has to be. Like, like Hawks Talon was the only playoff team coming into the last couple of days with neg with under 50% win percentage, and they had negative one point differential. It's time to let that inside go. I don't care if NBS is on a 6-4 or a 6-6. Six six. It's time to let it go. Here's you got a prediction? Else? See, I don't know. It's zero. Ooh. I don't. I already, I already, I already messed up making a prediction once tonight. <laughs> I, I have to know my place. I'm pulling my my usual dark card. Sorry, Derek. But this Taking is a, a page out of your book. This is an over and under for if there's going to be an inside. Uh, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say yes. We'll have one team that's not Heat Check Gaming on an inside. Okay. Okay. This is the it, close it out here to force game five. Iggy Mo is the one to do the job there for Minnesota. Game five, best of one for elimination and advancing on the line. We'll see how that ends up playing out. We go full screen over here to Gen G and 76ers GC. Now, Derek, if you're asking me how many insides we're going to see during the steal. Oh that's what I was that's asking. That's what he asked you. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh he's not fault. locked. I'm sorry. That's my fault. I thought you guys. I thought because I, I. I thought you guys were talking about playoff teams. I'll go. Give me three teams on an inside for the steal open. Ooh, okay. Yank. This, this my thing. I said it two weeks ago, three weeks ago. I'm not sure how long ago. One. If you're in the steal, and you had a pop. So if you went to hell when, when everybody could shoot. You think two people shooting and one inside about to get you out? Like, using an inside is very complicated this year. It's not simplistic. It's, it's very complex on both ends of the floor, especially offense. It has to be a certain strategy. It has to be certain. 
I certain re- intangibles. Like, so if you think that an inside is going to be your answer when a pop wasn't, best of luck. Ironically, JT, the one team that I was wondering if they were ever going to try an inside was Cavs Legion. Uh, I thought that maybe just, you know, with the shooting issues they were having, just getting a little extra height out there for rebounding, but they never pulled it out. They stuck to their guns and yeah, shout out to, to Cleveland for keeping the pop out there. Yeah, I'm I'm really trying to think who who's gonna go inside. Oh, like, oh he didn't get that ball? Oh he did, okay. He got the ball, DT picked it up, they knocked it away from DT again to give them the two point lead. This G team fights. Like Lawrence fights. Oh, Gallo. He knocks the oh. ball away again. DT He'll gets score. it right back, takes the three and no. Oh yeah, two K logical was actually wrong for once. Should have been a stop and they still got one. That was a big time Ooh. shot that would have dropped there for DT. Now oh, chance oh, to go through possessions. Gallo pulls it back. He greens it again. <laughs> I love silly JT's lines, man. <laughs> They sound so ridiculous <laughs> coming out of my mouth. <laughs> you, you caught me so off guard. I couldn't. I couldn't say Yank or Yank. He's unreal, man. He he really is. This is this is this is the breakout that we've been waiting for for Gallo for two years. You know, we gave him a year off. You know, kind of gave him the half of season five off because you know it was first year for threes. But I thought this was going to be the Gallo we were going to see last year. But I will take it now. This is fantastic. Yeah, we gave him a, a lot of crap when he wasn't playing the greatest. A lot of inconsistencies. Team wanted to be able to show out and tell you we don't like saying things about players that aren't the most positive. I think that's a, a misconception some people have at home. Like, oh, they just love going up there and just look at all the bad things of these guys. It is phenomenal seeing the way Gallo has been able to elevate his game and, and the different level this Gen G team is now playing at. As Gallo, speak of the devil, knocks down the shot. One miss in that closeout game as the Gen G Tigers will advance on forward here in our lower bracket. Oh, two wolves can high. But quick memoriam for 76. Oh, DC. snatch block oh! by Iggy Mo. Yeah. Oh, and a bad pass. That's unfortunate. And they need that. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. oh yep, 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 that might be game. That might be game. That was their last, like, really, like, last, like, yeah, that was that was too big of a miss. That's too big of a miss. Shifty able to advance and go out to Quickster. Pump fakes hey. this one. Two tuck out of the play. Now takes the shot. Greens it this time. <laughs> Ole. <laughs> That's a tough shot. Or not the toughest shot, but it's just to be patient and not take that one dribble over is what allows him to just remain open. Emo with the pump fake. And Tutak with the pull up midi. Gets that one to drop. Seven of the 10 points going way of Tutak. Seven points in 3v3 is nothing. And as Igimo gets the read there, doesn't jump at it. As Shifty hitting the stop and go. Now the behind the back trying to pull it left. He's just going right into traffic. Got to get something going here. Quickster goes with the flare up. They'll go back to Shifty. Out to Quickster. Pump fakes again. Takes it once more. One for three to start off this game for Quickster. I was about to say, he's green. That he's just showing out. He's a dog. Oh, That's they, a terrible catch. Yeah, he got the worst catch possible. No one even around like, him. And it's a clean what? pass from Tutog. And Igimo hit the, the double hesitation again and greened again. Shifty down the lane, throws it down. Let's head into a listening with T Wolves Gaming. Go middle. I'm popping off it. I got him. Yep. I don't know that Slip it. You got it too. We go, we go. Get back, get back. I got quick, sir. I'm up, I'm up. No threes. I got it, I got it. No threes, no threes. I got it. Come here. Nothing. Sweet, sweet. Uh, I got it. Got hit. Good jump, too. Hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me. Watch out. Three out, three out, three out, three out. Good, yeah, yeah. Come on. Sorry, come on, boy. Come on. Hey, watch the clip off and take us. Clip off and take us. 
Uh, I'm fighting. All right. Come on, Logan. Come on, baby. Come on, three. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Let's do that again. I call another one. Which way to attack? Multiple. Three out left. Go on, Nikki, Nikki. Go right corner, Tech. I'm gonna go three two. Go. The call. Jay. 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 It's lip and watch the defense take us, bro. Oh. Here. I got hey, I'm in the middle of the floor. I'm in the middle of the floor. Let's just left. Alright. We good. We good. Oh, oh. Hey, same look. Same look. Alright, alright. He in top. Fake cut. I'm on, I'm... Yeah, yeah, I want the fake cut. Right there. He can't block me. Go through, Barry. Go through. Alright. Play your game, two. Play your game, two. Play your game, two. Come on, two. Hey, take me home, two. Take me home. Oh, Bear. I'm here. I'm in the middle of the floor. I'm playing the middle. About as good as it can get here in three versus three for T-Wolves Gaming. Here in this closeout game, game five. The Quicksters have four shot attempts, made one of them. I think all of them have been wide open there as well. Shifty takes the three, can't capitalize. But how good has this been, JT, from T-Wolves Gaming? It's been phenomenal. As you told me, they've never, he just smoked open. You told me they've never dropped a series to community teams. And then on top of that, it's just we're about to have another year three years straight to where a community team has failed to make championship saturday but nonetheless the run that rim runners has had this tournament phenomenal there you go t wolves gaming they send our last community team home here in the switch open good part is rim runners have qualified through the playoffs so we will see them and dribble gods in a couple weeks live in washington dc um great great series great run by the rim runners as you just mentioned it's it's still though kind of tough to to really gauge how good are the rim runners right because we just mentioned they were beating some like the mid-level teams then they played obviously they played gen g who were considering a top three team beat them got swept by magic gaming and then just lost to the t wolves so it just shows how funky sometimes the 3v3 world can be i'm um, gonna look at our faces uh, and <laughs> <laughs> to the desk here gonna close out a wonderful friday show it has been a, a whole lot of fun let's start with tomorrow's schedule so you guys know what's to come on championship saturday we have our teams we have our contestants and our final four is as fans magic gaming lakers gaming gen g and how about the t wolves sneaking in same top three as before but with a new competitor down low jt this t wolves gaming team they're getting hot at the right time these three which we thought was going to be their best lineup coming into the year well, might have been sub go to but he's he's off in indy now it's great seeing them playing like this at this point in the season yeah it's crazy how, how that trade just really locked in their lineup and now look at them one team is confirmed in the steel and one team is confirmed playing on championship saturday with a whole new team like complete all three these are all three like bear wasn't on that court last year and the other two are rookies two top five picks so it's just like this team full of young guys with this one vet they're hot like if they can really turn it up and play the same game they've been playing because they've been playing a very good ball very good at uh, ball on both ends. Comms are good. Their chemistry is good. So if they could play really good ball like they've been playing, they'll be a. They could probably be my favorite to come out of the lowers. Well, I'll say my second favorite because technically Lakers and Magic, whoever loses that, I have to have coming out the low. Facts, man. Hey, it's it's gonna be a fun fun day tomorrow. Shout out to T Wolves Gaming. Like I said before, Derek, it was the same three teams last time around. Magic Gaming, Lakers Gaming, Gen G, but it's T Wolves Gaming this time instead of Pistons GT. Any final thoughts on the night? I I'm happy that we kind of have a, a solidified top three from what we've seen all season long. I feel like that's this is the correct way it should be. Um, I know that we've had some other teams, you know, getting close and kind of contesting it but the results show back-to-back -back tournaments of that same top three as you mentioned he wolves gaming now going into the mix uh, i think it just gives us some some good base points to go off with like once we go in person how much is this really going to change i'm ready to have that conversation with you both tomorrow well we will definitely have that conversation as as mr wr asked in the chat what time do we play tomorrow 3 p.m eastern time yes we're back a little bit earlier tomorrow 
bringing it in on a Saturday to close out the 2024 Switch Open. And after that, we get a full week off and we'll have a nice bye week coming up once we close out the Switch Open. We got one more day of games to go, 3 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow here on Twitch and YouTube. Be there. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great night. Okay, okay. Uh, uh. I cannot be baited. I stay in rotation. Yeah, I'm on another level. My chef got a different. My hezzy is different. Just watch how I split the double. Let's go. Yeah, I'm not a fluke. I'm packing my stats. I'm averaging triple doubles. I'm trying to level up, level up. My level is way, way, way up. I'm trying to level up, level up. My level is way, way, way up. I'm trying to level up, level up. My level is way, way, way up. I'm trying to level up, level up. My level is way, way, way up. I don't really know where I have you Feels like someday you can flip us She the real thing But she go hard and like Greenland Church girl moving like a queen pen Eh, hey, yeah my thing go low 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 She said let me know when you ready for me hey, Ready for me, hey, ready for me hey. She said let me know when you ready for me hey, Ready for me, hey, ready for me Yeah, baby do you know if you ready for me Ready for me, yeah. ready for me She said let me know when you ready for me Ready for me, ready for me Baby do you know if you ready for me hey. Ready for me, yeah. ready for me She said let me God. know when you ready for me hey. Ready for me, hey. ready for me Yeah, yeah my thing go low Yeah my thing go low Yeah my thing go low for the ground first her baby sabe who i am so she want to do it all on care like hold up sabe how to hold up pull up soon as we done i'm a roll up full on some better i pull up papi te paga los biles pero quiero todo lo tuyo prefieres hacerlo conmigo que siempre lo hacemos bien duro i bought a band straight from the trap i don't like paying no taxes I don't need friends, solo not mommy, papi te enseño a Raxis. Me and my chick, we got a chick, yeah we treat her like a pet. She keep it G, she keep it tranqui, but she be down with the set. Ay, me and my chick, we got a chick, yeah we treat her like a pet. Ay, EBK, if you all in the way, you in the field with a vet. Ay, spam, bam, she wanna flick for the gram. First her baby sobbing who I am, so she wanna do it all on care. Like, hold up, sobbing how to hold up, pull up. Soon as we done, I'ma roll up. Full lines are better, I pull up. Bam, bam, she wanna flick for the gram. Plus, her baby sobbing who I am, so she wanna do it all on care. Like, hold up, sabe how to hold up, pull up. Soon as we done, I'ma roll up. Full on some better, I pull up. Betty, you and Bappe, reach, go and Bappe. I can never let her up stop me. In the backseat, I'm with your chick. I love it when she be on top, man. Windows black, that's a fact. She don't even mind getting sloppy. Shoot her outside, holding it down. Si le digo que hace, he like copy. Abreme y la ventana para ventilar este humo. No way, Mr. Officer. So you trap star, so you know. Fumo, bebo, vendo. Que le digo? You know where I'ma send yo. Bam, bam, she wanna flip for the gram. Plus, her baby sobbing who I am, so she wanna do it all on care. Like, hold up, sobbing how to hold up, pull up. Soon as we done, I'ma roll up. Full on some better, I pull up. La verdad que yo supe que iba a alcanzar todos mis sueños. Era un muchachito 